and welcome to the very first LEGO Dungeons and Dragons game night! What? We are here to commemorate the incredible collaboration between the LEGO group and Dungeons and Dragons for their 50th anniversary of D&D, mm. this game that we all very much love to play with some extraordinary experiences, including this adventure, which is set by, uh, because of two of its collaborative creators that we have here at the table. Um, it is uh, a set that I cannot name right now because it's a spoiler for our adventurers. <laughs> However, what I can say is that this set will be available for purchase and we will talk a little bit more of the intricacies of it through the game as you see it being put together piece by piece. Wow. It's very exciting. Um, it is a result of a challenge launched on the LEGO Ideas platform where the Wizards of the Coast and the LEGO group combined and asked fans to create the ultimate Dungeons and Dragons set. The selected design by our very own Lucas was then made into the real Lego set that you will see here today. Mm -hmm. Now mind you, just to give you a sense of the scope of what we are doing here, we are also sitting at a table yeah. <laughs> made entirely of Lego pieces. Yeah. It measures uh, 1.4 meters by two meters using wow. 140,845 individual <laughs> Lego pieces. It took the master builders 482 hours wow. to create, <laughs> and it weighs 142 kilograms. So don't try this at home. If someone tries to flip the table, it's not my fault, I'm not my fault. <laughs> Uh, so this is the scope of, of what we're doing here today and, and how exciting it is. So, like I said, we can't show you the whole set just yet, oh, but man. what we can share with everyone, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. When folks buy the Lego Ideas Dungeons & Dragons <laughs> tail set <laughs> between the 1st and 7th of April, they will also receive a free gift, which is a set that will create the tiny oh. little mimic dice boxes! Yeah. What? that uh, you see in front of you, in front of our players to house their delicious dice as they roll high, roll low, roll fast, roll slow. I don't know why I'm singing now. Okay, so I feel like we may be ready to launch into this. I'm just gonna give our players a chance to introduce themselves. Okay. Starting with my dear friend over oh, there to my right. Yeah. You. Um, all right, well, uh, uh, hi, everybody uh, at home. And here at the table, hey! hey, hey. <laughs> What's up? Uh, I'm Luis Carrazzo. Uh, I will be playing Gaspar Roca, uh, who is uh, a mountain dwarf cleric. And, uh, and, and that's all I'm gonna, mm. that's all I'm gonna say for now. Mysterious. Mm. <laughs> Hello, I am Lucas. I uh, designed the fan model for this set and I'm so grateful to be here as the set has been developed into an actual full product. It's, it's yeah, I'm, I'm just stunned by it. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be playing today as a forest gnome named Waynus Breed Twist. We are very excited to have you at the yes. table and thank you so much for your design because it has inspired a tremendous amount of creativity and I know it's gonna inspire a tremendous amount of creativity with the folks at home who get to play with it. Oh, yes. thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jordan. I'm the creative lead on the LEGO Ideas project. So running a team of designers who help to create the amazing set that you're gonna see based on Lucas's amazing fan model. I will be taking the reins of Sir Robin Richman, the, uh, <laughs> the rogue orc, uh, but I won't go too much into his motives and things because it's more fun to discover that along the way. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ginny D and I am going to be playing Professor Althea Rune Spinner, the Elf Wizard. Mm. Mm. And those are our players and their characters. Just a couple of things that I want to advise you about. Your reason for arriving at this adventure may not be your reason for staying. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. And while I am uh, intending to be a kind and benevolent first time DM, oh my gosh, you guys! This never is my first time DMing! Uh, so buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy night! Um, there is much danger in this adventure. So please remember that almost every encounter can be averted or at least mitigated with cunning and cleverness. Mm -hmm. okay. mm, yes, not all of you have to lead with the strength and the dexterity. You can use the smarts and the wisdom as well. Mm. It's good away. of you to look at Just me then, away. since run I'm away. so strong. <laughs> you are, you're, you're huge. You're huge, babe. You're huge. <laughs> you're huge. All right, yeah. let's dive in. Yeah. 
Now, each of you has traveled the world. You have explored new frontiers, you have conquered new foes, you have earned your reputations as powerful adventurers, and earned not just a little bit of coin while doing so. Indeed, you have seen hard days. But it's not hard days that brought you together. It was the celebration of the end of each one of your respective adventures when you came together, predictably, at a tavern where other adventurers gathered to celebrate, to relax, to take a load off after maybe killing a deadly beast or something. <laughs> Whatever you do on a Tuesday as an adventurer. Mm -hmm. Now, when you sat there together and met, you regaled each other with tales of your travels and you met the rather boisterous proprietress of particular establishment. She engaged you in a rousing game of truth or dare during which you divulged <laughs> your souls to each other. But then she shared a truth of her own, that she dreamed day and night of something unexpected. It was the smell of hot wings. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Hot wings, you heard me say it, I said it. But not just any hot wings, a specific recipe she was desperate to obtain from the proprietor of an inn called In Plain Sight. Now as she conveyed to you all how much she longed for that, these, these delectable drumsticks, these wondrous wings, these savory snacks, <laughs> your mouths watered simply at the description and you decided to take a day trip. So here, on the final leg of your journey to the In Plain Sight, you find yourselves rowing down this small stream off the main road, mm. and who is it that is sitting in front of this boat and taking on the task of rowing? Maybe it should be us as the elders of this group, <coughs> leaders of the group. Please, we are the elders. Are, 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 are we not? Wonderful. And can <laughs> you please definitely. describe for me, Ms. Rootsby? Exactly what we see Professor. when we... Sorry, Professor, Professor <laughs> Rootsbitter, my apologies. In fact, I'm going to put on my glasses just to look at you so that I feel like a professor myself. Um, would you please describe to us all who we see? Althea Rootsbitter, Professor. Althea mm -hmm. Rootsbitter mm -hmm. is a uh, tall, high elven woman. Um, she stands with a very proper posture. Um, her hair is, is pulled back out of her face so that she can focus on the spells and texts before her, which she's often looking at. Uh, and she's in rather too fancy clothes for the adventurers that were going on, and mm. they're starting to look a little bit worn around the edges because these are clothes meant for gliding about academic halls <laughs> uh, rather than <laughs> trudging through the mud like we've sometimes been doing. <laughs> Nice. Wonderful, and seated next to her is? Is uh, Gaspar Roca, who is um, a dwarf who's, who's, who is a little bit older in his, in his years. He's uh, a, an adventurer that's been at it for some time, but it's uh, someone who has joined the adventurer's life a little bit later than many uh, other adventurers might have began their careers. And uh, he is wearing uh, a chain mail that's got uh, uh, pauldrons, and it's, there isn't, it's not adorned with anything fancy, uh, but to him, it is adorned with an already caked into it history of the adventurers that he's been on, that he's proudly been on. We see seated behind two unlikely friends, two unlikely uh, members of this party. Would you like to describe who we yes, see Yes, uh, Robin is a quite stocky orc, uh, pale blue, grayish skin. Seems to be wearing simple leathers. They, contrary to uh, Gaspar, are in perfect condition. No <laughs> scuff marks whatsoever. Um, it's as if they've never seen uh, any kind of scuffle. And seated next to him, who is his companion? Is Wayne Bree Twisk. She's a small gnome, uh, a small, uh, small girl. She's, she's young, she's full of energy and, and confidence and excitement. Uh, she's she's ready to take on this this new adventure to see what incredible creatures we might encounter. Uh, next to her is resting a shield with a particular beast on it, which uh, hopefully we'll spot. <laughs> you crest over a tiny little sort of a hill. Uh, if there are hills on streams, a tiny little <laughs> hill on the stream, and you see in front of you the in plain sight. Now the the in plain sight is an unremarkable building. It is built in the fashion of many taverns that you have seen before, but what is striking is that it seems to be built into the remains of a crumbling old stone 
tower. Mm. Now, the beautiful meadow that surrounds the inn is contrasted by this tall, decrepit architecture of the tower. It makes for a, just a strangely intriguing location. But what is even more striking than the location is the sensory overload oh. that overwhelms you the moment you dis dismount your boat, for you are struck with the incredible olfactory delight that wafts over you the undeniable <laughs> scent of delicious hot wings. Oh. <laughs> on the dock, there are predictably some crates, but not much else, just an area to tie up your boat and head on up to the door. Do you smell that? I think we're in the right place. I, I think so. Yes. We've been on this river a while, but I'm getting quite hungry. Now, since we have arrived at this place, mm -hmm. should we maybe see what this place looks like? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, let's see it. Welcome so to In Plain Sight. In plain now, look in at plain before, sight. before you explore <laughs> the establishment, we should figure out who exactly is doing the exploring. Yes. Perhaps a tiny Gaspar. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Perhaps a tiny Robin. A Robin. <laughs> Perhaps tusks. adorable Althea. Yeah, look at my huge book. <laughs> and perhaps kind oh. sir. Wait, it's so cute. Wow. You can take a look at that. Wow. All right, my dear. So, well, when you uh, get out of your boat, wow. you have a you have a choice here. Would you like to wander around a little bit around the building? Would you like to head to the front door? What would you like to do? Uh, Does it points? seem open? Let's um, get a closer look, look, I suppose. Yes. Just peek yes. in the window. window maybe? Have a look in the window. Yeah. Yes. Sure, sure. Great idea. So as you uh, as you walk around, you know Thank that you. the the little curtains on those. All of the windows mm -hmm. are drawn. Oh. It doesn't look like it's shut down per se, it just mm. looks like the curtains are drawn. Okay. Um, and when you Ooh. peek inside the front door, just looking inside, mm. it seems like the place might be empty. There's no light empty. coming from inside or anything? Nothing. Uh, mm. I mean, it's midday, so the light is shining through the windows, but there's mm -hmm. no internal light right. necessarily. No, no noises? Hmm. No. Not that you can. Well, Cheering actually. Cups. Make a perception check Ooh. for me! Ooh. First roll, first roll, first, first roll! <laughs> a five. Oh, oh and, and, what's and your plus, and perception. plus a one. Oh, okay. <laughs> With a six, you know, you, you don't really notice anything above the natural sounds that you are hearing here. The birds in the trees, the, the gentle bubbling of the stream, but mm. not anything The smell is so anymore. overpowering that you yeah, can't Yeah, you're very, very caught up in this delicious <laughs> smell. I don't hear anything, guys. I'm getting hungry. Well, Shall we just head inside? Yes. Yeah. We, can, we can just go in and see why. Yeah. Are you hesitating? Oh, above table, I am. Yes, <laughs> me, I'm hesitating. <laughs> but I, I, and in, in game, I think Gaspar, I think, is like, okay, yeah. There, Do you there's, want to go first? Uh, uh, um, I, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Well, okay, so. Um, What's everyone so afraid of? It's a restaurant. I'm afraid above it's table, just... in game. No, of course not. Yes, I trust my friend here and. and and perhaps we got here at a lucky time, and 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 um, and, and Gaspar's just gonna head right to the table door. Very maybe, it's the, maybe, it's the, maybe it's the start of rush hour. Right. We're, right. We're the For two this moment, where we're gonna be the first, first customers. customers. That could yeah. mean get three wings. I open the door. Wonderful! <laughs> he opens the door. You open the door, and you see predictably the inside of a tavern. Uh, there are definitely tables set in there, and you can turn oh. that bad boy around. Oh, look at the little In ink. fact, we can go ahead and take the top off here. We can? Whoa. Whoa. Just top floor, pop it on off. I'll Whoa. hold on to that. Oh my gosh. Um, and you can see inside, yes indeed, there is a, a tavern. There is a little <laughs> bar area with sundry beverages and things behind it. On the wall, you see uh, a board with a bunch of papers kind of tacked oh. up to it. You hmm. see a plaque, you see some tables and chairs, but oh, no so customers. Hmm. And we, nobody working no proprietor here. Either. And nobody working no. there. Oh. Should yeah, we look at call out? Is there a bell? Have you walked in in? I uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, you went busting in. in, right? Yeah. So yeah. after you pass a certain point in uh -huh. the room, you hear ding 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 ding. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh. As that bell rings, someone comes booming through from the back door. Oh, oh. hello! Oh, 
I'm sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, everyone. I, we're closed. Uh, uh, you've come at a bad time. Oh. We're closed for renovations. I just, I can't, I can't accept uh, a, any uh, customers right now. But uh, thank you all for for stopping by. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Robin immediately you... jumps behind the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 are you the are you the proprietor of this place? Are you Alex? Oh well, I am the proprietor of this place, but my name's not Alex. Uh, my my name is uh, Mary Romwell. I'm Mary. I'm, I'm the new uh, proprietor of this establishment. I actually bought it from uh, from Alex. Uh, a Apparently he wanted to, I don't know, return to adventuring life or mm. some oh. such madness. But uh, but I'm doing some renovations to make the place more habitable for customers. Which is just not it's just not quite ready yet. So I'm um, I'm sure you're here for the legendary hot wings. I can mm. make those for you. I've got the recipe myself. But uh, but I'll just have to make them for you to go if that's all right because. You know, I, 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 I need to get back to, to work here. It's fine. Oh, well, yeah, well, I, I suppose to go is, is, to is a, go. a start, but, uh, and I, I, I'm watching this person who bu uh, burst in and has this like kind of ur uh, urgency that I want to ascertain. Is this like a panicked urgency or is this a, uh, uh, I, I, I just want to see if there's anything that I'm getting from this person's behavior that might suggest that they're not giving me the whole story. Yeah, uh, rolling inside check. Okay. Uh, da -da. Oh, wow, oh that God. was almost that just... a 19. That was painful. That is a natural one. We are one. rolling uh -huh. so hard. You are so, oh like you try, you're like trying to peer into his soul, but the smell of these hot wings is just, mm. like it is an olfactory assault oh. on the senses. And you actually do see a small plate of hot wings mm. sitting right, right I there think I do, actually. on I've the table. I, I lose myself mid-sentence as I'm addressing this person and I turn to to the sizzling, is it cooking still? Is it sizzling? It's, it... it's not sizzling, this is just a, a plate, a plate with of some it. hot wings. Like perhaps he had been sitting there having some lunch at oh. some point or another and then going um, back into who, the back room. I see that you already have some made. Is this, is this oh, yours? Yes. No, no, no. Let, me, let me make you some fresh ones. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, uh, yes. but uh, and he scoops that back into his hands, mm -hmm. and he says, but uh, just do me a favor, you know, Alex was very careful, just no, uh, no peeking about the, you know, it's a very secret family recipe, so just That's... stay put. You're welcome to look around, Wait, uh, no problem there, but I'm just gonna go back there and, uh, and, and make some of these for you all to go. All right, oh, right, sorry. yes. Wait, wait, you're not, you're not Alex Jadescale's family, though, right? You just bought the place. Well, no, but obviously when I bought it, he was going to give me the recipe. Otherwise, why would I buy this place? It's it's famous for the hot wings. You've heard of it. You're here for the hot That's wings. Right. We don't see any renovating happening around, right? In this particular room? Yeah. Mm, no. Do we hear anything from upstairs, like hammers and stuff? Not anything loud and hammerly. Hmm. Hammerly is a technical perhaps term. Yeah. Renovating the, the bedrooms upstairs, perhaps. Hmm. Hmm. But as you as you uh, as you are discerning that, he mm -hmm. sh shuffles into the back room and and uh, closes we, the door behind him. Can I have a look at what's on? You said there was like notes yeah, the board. or yes, the of course, yes, absolutely. There is a notice for a lost pet. Uh, oh. That reads, I know, missing cat, large oh. with black fur and tentacles, answers to pouncy, <laughs> loves milk. Please uh. contact Alex Jade Scales if found. Oh. Um, above oh. that is a tiny scrap of paper with a, scra a, a sketch of a red dragon's face. And it is accompanied by some scrawl that says, symbol of the cult of the dragon. Next mm. to that missing cat notice is prominently displayed an adventurers of the month plaque. Ooh. And on this, I know, I know you're very How do we win that? I know, <laughs> that's uh. the first thing that went through your head. I'm like, I, I see you, Althea, I see you. Yeah. Exactly. Um, there's a rough sketch of some adventurers with the following caption. It says, the hard way plundered the lair of the dragon cinder howl and returned alive. Ooh, cinder way. howl. Mm -hmm. Robin, mm -hmm. you with that very high passive perception of yours, when you go over there, uh, you, you, turn over your shoulder and you see some carvings in the actual like surface of the bar you know okay. like you know like, you see a few things like yeah. tom plus mary and oh. you know, things like yeah. that all over it um but two of them catch your eye one of them says the tree hides the way tree hides the way and the other says evil makes merry while good sleeps mm. guys um there's a couple of weird carvings on this bench bar area. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what it means. Right. Evil makes merry while good sleeps. And yes. that's why elves are here. 
as you are searching <laughs> as you are getting that wave of, of smell that's happening, you're also hearing just a little bit of sizzling happening mm. in the back there. Just a tiny little no, short I don't, cook sizzle. I don't want to be impolite, but do you think we should peek? <laughs> Perhaps. I'm also thinking that if he wasn't expecting anyone, how fresh are these going to be? Mm. That's right. a good point. And what are they made of? They're wings. What? Sounds mm. like wings. cooking wings, right? Mm. That's what the sizzle sound. That's what the sizzle sound is. It's like fake yeah. fajitas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's really, it's really, really. Good. Thank you. Good I, soundscape. Why? Thank I you. I, I pride myself on my random mouth sounds. Uh, <laughs> could I just very quickly sneak off around the outside and look what's in those boxes? As I oh, oh. yes, go ahead. I was going to cast invisibility on you. I think I'm quite. I can. I mean, he's through the back. He's not going to see me, okay. right? Okay. Yeah, you're not going to go back into your... the kitchen, though. Because then we can no. get the recipe. I was planning on seeing what's in the boxes, if there's any right. clues. Right. Oh, sure. I'll hold off on the invisibility. Right. I'm, I'm getting yeah. the sense that you don't, you, don't want, you don't want any uh, assistance. And there was a little bit of divine energy that started to <laughs> move, oh, no. swirl around my forearm and into my fingertips as... Youths these days. I, well, I suppose, <laughs> I, right. I guess so. That's <laughs> fine. It's just boxes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right. So, so Robin, you're going to yes. head outside? Yes. Have a look in those boxes. Have a look around? Okay. It's... Fairly easy to pry these boxes open. It's mm. just like a, a, you know, a, they're just basic yeah. crates. And inside them, <gasps> oh, there's really stuff in there. Really? Can I open them? Yeah, but you can certainly open yeah. them. Go ahead and turn it around, and let's see what you've got inside. The in crates. the first one, in there's... the crates, you oh. see what? some little chilies. Ooh. Oh, there are some chilies in that one. Some green chilies <gasps> and some red chilies. Oh, oh. what? Yes. Well, that kind of makes sense. What's it be the, the, the that's the, oh, there's more that obviously make the hot part of the hot. Right? I just come the back with wings. a bunch of chip, like, that's all that was in the boxes. That I wouldn't make. recommend eating those uh, uh, raw. It's not going to be good for your digestive system, considering just, and he just my assessment puts them of your to the side on one of the chairs. <laughs> and Do you he's think like, we could... hmm, and just kind of rubs his eye. Oh, a no. Bit. oh no, don't touch your eyes. Why? Oh. It's oh, too late now. No, That's too now. Late. I've pressed to digitation your hands. Uh, you see, there's a magical chemical in such things, uh, an, an arcane element. It's called capsaicin. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't want to. <laughs> studies have indicated that. Uh, yep. you know, uh, uh, come, on, come, come. Let me, let me take a look. Let me take a look. And uh, I'm going to try to. Uh, ed uh, I, I, put, I, I pull out a medicine kit, and I'm going to try to clear <laughs> the uh, spicy oils from his eyes. Okay. Well, I'm not even going to make you roll for this one, first, because first you do have so much experience in this world that you are able to at least mitigate mm -hmm. the burning. His eyes are still de definitely still red. Like Damp There's just cloth, no taking care of that it. for a while. Thank you. Wayness, you are a scientist, yes? Not so, so much. I'm, I consider myself a biologist. Studying creatures, right. I, I like to get real close to to the dangerous species that I oh. that I study. Oh, or I, I, the opposite of the kind of science that I was hoping for. <laughs> I was just wondering if you thought perhaps we could backwards engineer a recipe from oh. the ingredients if we were to oh. find them. As you ponder this, Mary comes bustling out with a large tray. L literally, the tray is just wrapped in. Cloth, like he's, <laughs> he's just made a tray of hot wings, wrapped it up in cloth. All right, well, um, uh, here's some hot wings for you. Uh, very grateful for your patronage. Uh, take this one, just make sure to tell people uh, we will be ready in probably a couple of months for, for people to come by. Uh, but for oh, now, uh, we're just, uh, we're closed, we're closed for business. What if, sort of... if I didn't already tell you, we're closed for mm. business. What uh, renovations are taking oh, yes, months yes, yes. to do? Oh, well, you know, we want to make this a, a, a high-end establishment. For our, our adventuring crowd who likes to come here, I mean, generally we don't we don't just want it to be about the hot wings. Uh, we want it to be about uh, hospitality and and oh. and comfortable beds to lay on, and you know, it, I mean, you could see. Trust me, the beds up there right now are just. <laughs> oh, can we see? Speaking of beds. Uh, mm. Well, uh, sh sure. I, I suppose uh, if you if you really wanted to, take a look around. I've, I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> Knock uh, yourselves out. Uh, mm. I'm just going to go back and do some cleaning and some more working on the. You know, we've got contractors and everything coming, so I've just got to do some paperwork. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll just head back there and handle that right now. Right. right. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. And he just, bustles through that back door. I've Oops. never heard anyone say I've got nothing to hide when they have nothing to hide. That is a good point. But the hot wings were generous. True. 
That is true. Uh, but how uh, are you funding a renovation if you're giving away your hot wings? The math doesn't add up. <laughs> it doesn't, but I, 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 well, I don't suspect anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not your nature. Let's just be cautious <laughs> and go upstairs. Certainly. You can lead the way again. You did such a good job earlier. I yes, did. Oh, it was excellent. Well, yes. you keep uh, having me lead the way. And it, is, uh, 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 it, it is the right thing. Um, I didn't sense anything uh, deceitful about uh, uh, this person earlier, mm. so I don't have the same full sense of urgency. I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna, ca I will cast detect magic, um, but I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm gonna do it as a ritual. Okay. 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 So it'll take me ten minutes to do it. Oh, okay. So you're gonna hang out down. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out here. I was like, oh, well, um, you yeah, yeah, do whatever. I might take well, a bite we, of this chicken. We were headed up though too, mm. right? Do you want to yes. cast it downstairs, or you want to cast it up? I want to go upstairs. I think okay. I'm, I'm curious and, about that. Uh, you head up the <gasps> tiny staircase. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right. Floor two. Mm. You see um, a pretty standard-looking mm. little bedroom. Um, in the bedroom, you notice that there is like an armoire closet type thing. Yes. There is a bed and there is a chest. Mm. And over the chest, mm. you notice some framed photos uh, mm. over there in, mm. the, in the back of the room over there. Uh, you start mm -hmm. casting right as you come up the stairs? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to start okay, doing that right So away. as you're working on your ritual casting, what are the, what are the rest of you doing? I want to look, look at the, yes. the portraits above the bed. Yes. Certainly. Wonderful. Um, as you walk past the bed, you feel something shudder <gasps> next to you. And before you know it, <gasps> the middle of the bed <gasps> opens up oh, and uh, you see no. sharp pointy teeth. Uh, <laughs> because uh, oh. uh, there's a chest, there's a stuff. You see sharp pointy teeth oh, open up and sharp pointy teeth um, <laughs> open up and come to snap at you. Uh, um, uh, let me see. Oh God. <laughs> uh, does an eight hit? Uh, you, you. Uh, I am a wizard. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> it had the moment of surprise, but these sharp pointy teeth. Oh. Uh, you notice that it's yeah. just kind of like a, uh, mm. it doesn't feel like it's very, no. uh, it's like it's not, a, it's not a very snappy sharp oh. pointy teeth mm. moment. However, I do need to ask you all to roll for your shit. Oh <laughs> man. My, Althea, what did you roll, my dear? Uh, I got a 21. Oh, wow. A 21, Jeez. excellent. I told you guys you just needed me to start rolling. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Gaspa. Six. Six. Oh. I'm outside, it makes sense. Uh, Robin. As I'm cowering behind Althea with an eight. Uh, Wayness. A 16. Ooh. Nice, with a 16. Did you add your initiative excellent. bonus? Uh, yes. Nice. Althea, your adrenaline has gone from, uh, like, on a scale of one to 10, it's a 29. As <laughs> soon as that happens, uh, you see this, this crazy looking creature that is coming out of the bed, or is it the bed? You can't quite tell, yeah. uh, but it is a creature you believe that you have studied in your studies at the academy, so you definitely are familiar with what it is. Uh, <sighs> what would you like to do? Ah, uh, mimic! <laughs> 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 I'm up close with it, right? You are right up, yeah, mm. you're right up at the end of it, basically. You you're walking by it to get to the chest. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the footboard with oh. my hands and cast Shocking Grasp. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Presumably there's no metal on the bed. It's not like a metal it is a, frame. It is, a, it is a bed that is about to eat you, so it is not made of metal right, right this moment. <laughs> no metal involved, so no advantage. Uh, that's gonna be... 15. 15 Two hits? hits. Nice, sweet. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, and then that's a... D, eight, oh gosh. Okay. Oh. oh. All right, that's one lightning damage. Right, but right. it can't take reactions right. until the start of its next turn. Ooh, okay, okay. So uh, as you cast this, you, you, you know, you're expecting to have something obviously a little bit more impressive happen, um, but instead, it almost, back. Feels like, <laughs> it almost feels like you've just delivered a, a static shock because you've like rubbed your feet on carpet <laughs> and, and all of a sudden you feel the static shock and you two, Pull your hands as much as you can away um, uh, from this kind of stickiness. But as you do, you also hear, ah! Huh? Wait. And uh, 
we move on to? Oh. Wait, um, am I connected to it still, or can I step back? Because I think you, okay, it's up to you. Because uh, yeah, knowing that it can't take reactions, mm -hmm. I think I would try to get out of its melee range. Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. Go for <laughs> nice. it. So you backing up a little I would, bit? Yeah, I'd back up probably ten feet up against the wall if I can. Excellent. Except there's a chest no, away from the chest, though. Oh! Now I'm suspicious. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Okay. I mean, that makes right. sense. Right, next uh, we have Wayness. Make some space for my sword up here. <laughs> <laughs> Make some space! And she pulls out her long sword and goes straight in for a strike into one of the teeth. Of into the, one oh. of the teeth? Yes. Excellent. Uh, roll me a. Dentist. Roll <laughs> yes, I was just going to say. <laughs> yes. Dang it. I'll start calling you the mimic dentist. That is a five. Ooh. That a plus, five? Plus seven. seven. Yes, plus seven. Yeah. So a 12? So that's 12. Yeah. A 12 hits. Hey. Wow, Ooh. I mean, Ooh. nice. Yeah, I guess it's a bed, move. it's big, yeah. stationary. Nice. That's the one. A seven. Seven plus, plus four. Better. Plus four. Plus four. Seven plus four is 11. 11. Excellent. Nice. As you hear, as you do that, as this slices down, you hear, ow! <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> is it the mimic making these sounds, does it seem like? Do you think Alex J. Scales is in there? There, yes, maybe. Um, oh, is that the end of your want. turn, or do you want to? Yeah, you, I oh, believe yeah. you have two attacks. I do have two attacks. But oh I'm yeah, you're right. I'm suspicious of the sound, so I'll, I will hold back and stand back a bit. Okay. Oh. All right. As you have struck this, and you hear the ow, you also hear a oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> and you turn around, and indeed, the chest oh, has no. opened itself, and a large tongue starts coming out of it and attempts to wrap around you, my dear, oh. because you oh. are the one that uh, attacked its compatriot. Uh, indeed, I am. Does a 19 hit? It does hit. It does. A 19 Ooh. does hit. All right. Uh, you take. 10 points oh of bludgeoning boy. damage. So this mimic has been in its object form and as the tongue comes around to you and lashes around you, suddenly it actually wraps around you and you are grappled. Ooh. <gasps> guys, guys, I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> oh no! Do we, do we see the... Just oh come. yeah, it's yeah. hard to miss. Let's, in fact, thank you. Thank you, thank you for uh, uh, why would one have teeth when another does not? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no! Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Why do I oh. love it so much? I know, I know. Because everything that is made out of Lego pieces is adorable. Yes. <laughs> that is why. Even the terrifying mimic. Even the ones that are trying to, that are trying to exactly. take you out. Exactly. Yes. Uh, Robin, you are up. Like a problem. Yes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, bad, dangerous tongue. Uh, sorry. Grappled, and I will run up with my short sword and try and slash at the tongue. Uh, which tongue? That tongue or the, the tongue that? is grappling? Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, roll to hit, please. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. That is a nine. A nine, unfortunately, yeah. does not hit. Okay. You are just so uh, so excited and so scared and all these things that you just completely whiff it. Also, this tongue is really like he's yeah. grappled, but he's also being he's going in like. Moved. Uh, uh. <laughs> Um, and then I will Oof. bonus action with my two weapon fighting, try and hit it with the dagger. Excellent. So it's nice. nice. Oh, these, oh, okay, that's better, that's better. Uh, 23. 23 definitely hits. But it's just a D4. <laughs> so that will be six. Six, six points of damage, excellent. So you go for this tongue and you stab right into it. Sorry, and only two actually, because you don't add oh. your bonus damage. So like two. I said, you stab into Eight. this tongue and while you maybe Eight. don't do as much as six uh, damage would do, <laughs> but you do stab into this yes. tongue and you hear a ow, 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 it hurts, ow, oh no, oh god, while uh, oh. it's grappling. I love it, I love it, feel good, I don't like it. <laughs> I suddenly feel terrible about this. <laughs> Nope. Um, that finishes your turn. Gaspar, now you have come up the stairs, you had started your ritual casting, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you would put the platter of hot wings down. Yes, uh, uh, yes. What is your plan here, my friend? So I, I, I'm, I, I think I come in just in time to observe uh, this, this last moment and I see uh, uh, Wayne is uh, uh, still grappled, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I too am having this really conflicted feeling of these these sentient objects that are making me feel bad for them for some mm. reason because they're being hurt. So, uh, be prepared to cast a spell 
uh, on uh, the chest that has you wrapped around. I hear this reaction from it, and instead of this harmful spell, I'm going to cast, uh, that I was gonna do, I cast command uh, uh, on the chest, and I say, release! (laughs) And so the mimic, uh, it seems intelligent enough, uh, to 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 be affected by this, uh, needs to make a Wisdom saving throw DC 15. Right. Um, uh, the spell has no effect if the target is undead. If it doesn't understand my language, uh, and I think that that's it. That's it. DC 15. Yeah. DC 15. It does not make it save. Yeah. Then it does what I bid it to do, <laughs> which is uh, to release. I just say to release. release. Okay. To, 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 as to soon let, as you say that. The tongue just, just all of a sudden, just goes completely straight, rigid. <laughs> it just like, like as if a soldier or or someone is just like, no, let, let, let it go. Um, it immediately responds to your command um, and drops poor Wainus uh, uh, to the ground. Oh, thanks. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, God, I hate it when these people come in. I just, I just wanted to rest. Ooh. Wait, do you? You smell that, Larry? Do you smell that? <laughs> the bad uh, they eat the wings. Anything, uh, oh. anything else you would like to do with your turn? That uh, is your. That's my action. That is your action. I think that's my move. Uh, I, 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 that's my turn. Uh, uh, that is your turn. Yeah. It is now the bed's turn. Larry. Larry. Um, Larry. So. The bed has been just obviously a little bit rattled by the whole experience. You're seeing it shudder again, and you and go. Oh, oh, the, the. Gladys, it's the wings! Gladys! Gladys! Gladys, they brought Gladys. wings! Oh, Gladys. oh no! Oh, we're sorry! They must be friends of that, 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 that guy. We, we, we brought the wings. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry, Gladys. Oh no, oh yeah, oh no, oh no, oh God. I'm so we're sorry, we're so, we didn't meet, uh, that. we thought you were, no, we were just doing our job, you know? We were just doing well, what well, we well, would, I'm sorry, I'm Gladys, it's so nice to meet you. Well, what is your job? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Gaspar, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Yes, of course, yeah, somebody, I'm so sorry. Somebody gave wings. me a thick lip here. I don't like it, uh, my tongue is hurting. I hand, I hand the wings over to Robin. I'm terribly, terribly sorry for that little incident. And you're handing it to the bed? Uh, uh, to, sorry, to no, Larry Gladys, or to, to Gladys? Because Gladys. Uh, uh, I stabbed them in fair, the tongue. Fair. Oh, oh, <laughs> it oh. might sting a little if you've been injured in the tongue. Oh, but they're so I know good. They're so good, darling, they're eight. so good. So the tongue immediately comes out, waves around, and just <laughs> scoops up a ton of the wings. Ooh. Just as you see the other tongue come out of the bed uh. and scoop up another ton of the wings. Oh, oh, darling. These are, oh, they're so good. Tell them, Larry, tell them. Oh yeah, yeah, when we came here a few weeks ago, we, you know, we were just, uh, we were just uh, heading out on a little stroll. And, oh. uh, and sure enough, we smelled these wings and uh, uh, we came inside and the, the guy, the dude, the, the man, he, uh, you know, he, uh, uh, sorry? Alex. Alex. You know any Alex, Gladys? No, honey, I don't know any. I, I don't think I've ever met an Alex. No, oh. no, we know that other guy who makes the that makes the wings and brings them to us. Mm-hmm. Mary. Mary? Mary. Yeah, his name's Mary. Mary Doesn't seem like a very Rumwell. Mary guy. A little bit of a misnomer, but you know, he's uh, he's fine. He brings us the wings. We pr- we protect him from people who come upstairs. That's just what we do here. You know, we're like the solid protectors. It's just it's a very tiring job. Have that sounds all, good. Have you eaten any customers yet? Ah, uh, gosh, what day is it? I, uh, <laughs> it's uh, I don't Wednesday. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, uh, I don't recall. It's, time is so confusing for us, you know. Mm. Uh, I don't remember if we've done anybody in here. We've heard some people that we almost protected against. That's for sure, because we heard him talking to the. What were those boys' names? Those very nice. Those very nice. People, you know, the, with the with the with the boys and that girl, like, oh yeah, that, that was the uh, what are they, the, the strong ones, uh, oh. the tough guys. Was it the uh, hard way? The hard oh. way. That's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it was the hard way. Yeah, yeah. He had been uh, 
having some conversation with them and told them they could have unlimited hot wings and a little bit of coin if they did some, I don't know, something for him. You don't remember what the thing was? God, Gladys, it feels like it's been so long. Was it a... Uh, was it a, yeah, they were supposed to, to, to go get something, some kind of ingredients. I don't know. Oh, no, I remember. Huh. It was a dragon egg. What? Dragon he egg. told them that he would pay them in unlimited hot wings if he would just get the dragon egg. Seemed like a strange thing to me to put into, you know, hot wings, but I don't judge because they're delicious. <laughs> just one more question. Do you recall, have you ever had displacer beast? Is that a, 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 something you enjoy eating? Displacer beast? It's like a large black cat with, with tentacles and six legs. I've never even seen one of those. That sounds scary. Well, that's, that's good. Larry, let's that make sure good. we never ever a encounter a displacer beast. No, well, no, 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 no. We're just, uh, we're just, you know, we're very laissez-faire. We don't like, don't hurt us. We won't hurt you, well, we except won't, we won't the way you come by us. And we're waiting for you to bring us hot wings and we're doing our job, in which case we might try to eat you. We're really sorry. We're, we're very we're, sorry for the yes. misunderstanding. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, yeah, feel free. I, I, yeah, you have, you're running the place if your friends are married. I mean, please, uh, look around. Well, we did have it's permission. A, it's a very, yes. it's a very, yeah. it's a very yeah. nice yes. room. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, honey, honey, what, what's, what's behind me? This is behind me. Is that that that, that picture? That that, that the, 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 the dragon, the dragon family. Oh yeah, Ooh, yeah. There, so you might yes. notice over there. They uh, there's that there's those pictures over there on the wall. And you look over on the wall above yeah. Gladys, and you see a few different pictures on the wall. You see a lovely, upstanding seeming dragonborn family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you see a harp, pictured, um, uh, which you. Althea are actually, with all of your many studies, aware are the Harpers, an organization uh -huh. dedicated to protecting the innocent from evildoers. Okay. Um, you also see, just see a couple of like heroes looking very brave next to each other, and a lovely mountain range that says below it, the spine of the world. Ooh, I've always wanted to visit there. Yeah. I've always wanted to know more about the eating habits of mimics. Mm -hmm. What is something else you enjoy eating? Hot wings. Hot I mean, wings. now I've just got a taste for the hot wings. I dream about them in my sleep. I just, I can't get them out of my mind. All I want is the hot wings. Oh. We know someone else who felt that way. We do. Indeed. Maybe you guys could go downstairs and tell Mary to make some more. And just as you say that, you hear Another sound, a sort of <laughs> sound, like not quite an explosion. Oh, bursty. Almost kind of a burst of energy oh. come oh. from downstairs. downstairs. Is downstairs. there anything else in the room besides Larry and Gladys? And Larry, the Gladys, the closet. Yeah. Um, Is there anything? Like a bag on the windowsill? Like a bag that That's might be in the little armoire to. closet. Oh, really? How astute of you. Can yes, I, indeed. I go over to it and then I look back to Larry and Gladys and I go, oh, it's not a, another brand. Oh, no, no, it's just the two of us. We're a couple. It's just we don't have any kids, oh, so you're fine. How sweet. You're fine. Uh -huh. You're I totally fine. Grab the you sack. grab the sack, and you are now the proud owner of the bag of holding. <gasps> oh! Yay! That's the bag of holding. Excellent. Yay! Uh, I suddenly remember that sound that we heard, and I want to go downstairs to see what that was. Are you, we, Quick we go question together? before we go down. Uh, it seems like Mary was perfectly happy with us being consumed by mimics. Yes. Uh, not right. only does this make Mary potentially a dangerous Absolutely person, dangerous. but also he may be surprised to see us come back down. It might be a good opportunity to sneak. Yes. Sneaking it is, and I will uh, cast Guidance on who I know is our nice. sneakiest. I Would you like to be invisible sneak. now, or? Um, why not? All right. Uh, every little helps, I suppose. I will cast Invisibility. Oh, Wonderful. You just, uh, you kind of all hear uh, Robin just going, do this right under your training. Try not to do any of that sort of self-talk out loud while invisible. It sort of right. defeats the yes, purpose. Yes, of course. But it's um, but it's great. Yes. A little right. pep talk. Robin, you are now invisible, and okay. you are and you are heading down the yep. stairs. Do I still need to okay. roll stealth? Um, are you me? stealthing? It's up to you. Yes, because you can still hear while Go invisible. Go for it. So. Roll some stealth. Um, okay. Okay. And a D4 for guidance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One fourteen plus. 24. 24. Um, uh, you disappear into thin air, and as soon as your voice, you hear that little guide, mm. guideline from Althea, and as soon as your voice goes away, 
you guys don't even have any concept of where he is. He's Ro like, he is, is, he is, he is silent as he this sneaks is very down strange the stairs. As Robin is large, as very big and stocky, and moves like a ballet dancer. Ooh. I think I think they've gone. So as Robin, you you uh, come down the stairs. You notice that the door to the back room where Mary yeah. was is wide open, and you do not see Mary. Um, do I see any of like his the dishes that he was? Uh, Cleaning up, it, like through, are they through cleaned? The, through the door. You, roll an investigation check. Natural 20. Nice. For a total of 21. You oh. can see through walls. No, um, <laughs> um, you look through that door with your newfound confidence knowing that you yes. are invisible. And you look through the door and immediately it's like, it's like you're, a, you're a secret agent. You've got <laughs> every single thing in the room. First of all, you notice that the kitchen is suspiciously clean. Huh. Very, 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 very clean. Okay. Um, uh, you also notice that there are several jars on a, on a uh, shelf unit in the back, several jars of a, mm. a red sauce mm. of uh, some kind. Okay, you notice there is a large barrel in the kitchen, and near the top of it, you notice some hot wings. A, but like a large barrel, okay. like a giant barrel full of hot wings, and in the barrel, the hot wings are sizzling. Uh. Yeah, that's... Um, you also notice on the far end, you see a rack with like cooking utensils, spatula, ladle, all this stuff, apron, hmm. and then you see, uh, uh, leaned up against the wall, you see a pike, um, a lute, Ooh. and a rapier. Wow. Mm. Yes. I look at my short sword and I'm like, and try and take the rapier. Excellent. Well, Ooh. you don't have to try and take it. It's right there. You can take it. You can even take it from the Lego set that you guys created. <laughs> it's look all in you. there, all that stuff. Little geniuses. Wow. Look at it. All right, so you are now in possession of it. Are you going to get rid of your short sword or are you just going to? Uh, I'm going to store it. He's just yeah. got. Pouches and sheets. He's and also now a bag got of a holding. bag of holding. A bag, yeah, so I'm just dumping in. Yeah. I, I will actually take all of the things okay. and put them in the bag of holding wow. for my compatriots. Excellent. Cool. I found some goodies that maybe I can share. I found this new rapier. Did you find some oh. hot wings? Uh, was Mary down there? No, no one. The, complete, the kitchen is surprisingly clean. Hmm. Um, but I found uh, an axe, uh, a, a pike, and uh, some mm -hmm. kind of loot that I am not very good at performing. Oh. So. Anyone musically? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll take it. And I can you, can hand you, the loot. Thank you. Can you play the loot? I do indeed. Oh. oh. Do you want some, uh, a throwing axe of some sort? Ah! <laughs> no, <I'm not>. ah! <laughs> I don't know. I don't need that. No, no, no. no. That's all. We that's keep all it for you. in the bag of holding. <laughs> well, it's been, it's been very nice to meet you all. So sorry about the misunderstanding. And don't worry about my tongue, darling. It's, it'll heal. I, we, we, we do fine. We do fine. So you, you want to stay here? Or, or is there anything else that we can do for you? Bring us more hot wings any chance you oh, get. Right. So <laughs> that sounds uh, doable. Were there any yes. hot wings downstairs? There are. Were, down they there. were still cooking. I'm, I'm not, uh, they uh, might have oh. been ready, but I. No one was around. We could go back down and pick some. Yeah, hot I want to go. I want to go down. Hot wings for the road. That's yes. right. This is, doesn't make sense. Where did Mary go? Where? If Perhaps not there. teleported or or something. Well, I'll go downstairs and, and, and see with my own eyes what was described to us. All yep. right, so you head downstairs uh -huh. into the back room, into the yep. kitchen yes. area. Yeah. Um, could we investigate? Yeah, the barrel somehow? Oh, yes. perhaps this would be a good time to detect magic. This would be. This barrel. Uh, I would, I would, um, I'm going to do a, a, a couple of things. Right. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to turn to you and I'm going to uh, cast guidance. So that same kind of divine energy oh. uh, uh, shoots out from my hands and just sort of wraps around you and gives you this sort of more uh, a focused sense. Thank um, you. That's very kind. And uh, well, of course. And I am going to cast not as a ritual because now I'm starting to see that there's more urgency in what's happening. <laughs> I think uh, I will use a full spell slot to cast a. a a d detect magic. Excellent. There is no question, like as soon as you cast it, a bright, giant, shining glow, just huge glow comes off of that barrel. Mm. Like it lights up the room. There, there, is there any, uh, so the barrel is glowing. 
barrel is glowing. And I, uh, I want to uh, take the lid off. I guess I want to take a look at the the chicken wings themselves it's and see if wide that's open. all. Oh, it's open. So it the, is the, a the wide chicken wide itself chicken is glowing. glowing. There's a barrel that is glowing. Mm -hmm. Like everything, the chicken is glowing. The barrel is glowing. The whole thing there is glowing. You definitely get the sense that these. These were not made recently, mm. but they are as fresh as, they smell as fresh as ever. The School of Magic, what is it? I, for, I forget the, the, the School of Magic that is like the charm spells and stuff. Oh, yeah. Enchantment. Uh, enchantment, yes, yes, it yes. It is not, you do mm. not sense anything that, that is uh, like a charm person. Got or any it. Kind of, there's no sense of that, that having an effect on you is all, mm. all of the magic seems to be mm -hmm. concentrated on the, the food itself. Well, which one of us is going to taste this chicken first? Ooh. Thanks for volunteering, I suppose. Mm. Um, uh, I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken. <laughs> take a bite of that chicken. You grab yes. a piece of that chicken and you put it in your mouth and it is a spiritual experience. <gasps> is it, it really? Is, you take a bite and the combination of taste and smell, you know how those senses are united? It's, it's like, it's like a bite and smile commercial. Ooh. Your face lights up. <laughs> you taste it's like crunchy on the outside, but juicy on the inside, and the meat is just falling off the bone. And you can taste this very complex sauce. Mm. There's a little bit of chili, but there's a little bit of sweet in it. Like it's just, it's, it's just a magical it is, experience. It is worthy of of ad, the admiration. So, so, so Gaspar. Is, is enjoying this as he slowly chews this and he takes that piece of chicken, he holds it up and it's sort of, you can see the light that's in the room almost starts to like glow around it. And he says, what a piece of work, chicken. How noble in seasoning. Yes. How, yes. How, how infinite in salivating. Oh. In form and chewing, how intense. And admirable in, in, oh. in the action, how like a god. <laughs> I have of late, but wherefore I know not, lost all of my mirth. That's not true, I still have my mirth, but had I lost it, I would have found it again in this glorious chicken. Oh, oh no, I can't. That is heavenly. You must, you must. <laughs> Okay, we need to pause for a moment to yeah, acknowledge just, the, the, yes. the brilliance that just happened. And I, I feel like at this moment, uh, I would like to provide you with a point of inspiration. Uh, <laughs> yes. um, for such an inspired performance from our uh, thespian, what? you shall receive- Are you uh, kidding? The Golden Lego Man Award. <laughs> <laughs> please do, please make your speech, sir. Oh, well, another one? I said, this, I, is I, your, this is your point of inspiration. Please thank whoever you need to thank. I would uh, like to thank um, Shakespeare for, <laughs> and, and the movie Musical Hair, which is why I remember that. <laughs> this is from the, uh, uh, what a piece of work is, man. Um, Amazing. Uh, and uh, this, I can't, I can't. There you go. You're just gonna hold that the rest of the time. I am the just campaign. gonna hold it. That's fine. You're I never right win at anything, so this You're is just staying never gonna here. Use your well, you just, just won our hearts, oh. Mister. <laughs> You'll be the first person to have a legot. A legot. Ah. <laughs> yeah, the Lego. That's right. To the front. Yes. 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 You have a the Lego, Lego trophy. man, the Emmy, the, the Lego Grammy, man. and wonderful. <laughs> so as you admire um, your beautiful <laughs> Lego statue, I can't, I can't have him upstage me all, the entire time. <laughs> there you go. Fair, so fair, I will, fair. But I will um, bring him out. I've been so distracted by your <laughs> thespian ways. <laughs> um, uh, we, we are in the kitchen. Yes. You are. I was passing off the 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 the, the chicken. Uh, uh, to Wayne as for example, you must have a, a, a taste of this and, uh, um, and you please do. <laughs> Again, this. just bliss. This is the most melting, amazing chicken I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> Guys, you're missing out. <laughs> have, have you aren't at all worried that this chicken might be doing something to you. You're gonna dream of chicken wings It's now. worth it, it's worth it. It might turn into mimics. Well, I was afraid of that, but the, How oh. long should we wait? Are we going to turn uh, into mimics? Uh, we minutes. might. I don't know. Um, and on that sort of, uh, my demeanor changes completely as I remember that we're here and that there's danger. And I'm suddenly like focusing up again and I want to scan the room uh, because I still do have detect magic up and I want right. to make sure that I'm picking up, if there's anything else to pick up. Um, uh, uh, I also want to, 
I think what's in the jar is chili, and I want to dip the chicken in the chili and taste oh, it. Oh, delicious! <laughs> in addition to that. Oh, look at you, a little glutton for punishment. I know. Um, so it's you you uh, grab so. the little the bottle, which is indeed there for you. It is right. It's just grab a little mm. bottle. There's also a little chicken wing in there for you. There is. Like I see the that. chicken wing. Um, you grab a little bottle of hot sauce, mm -hmm. um, and you open it up, and it smells. It just smells like the actual chicken wings. Like it smells like mm. it is the sauce. Like this is the like sauce. Like this is the this is the marinade, or whatever you want to call it. It yes. is not, however, glowing. It's not. Okay. It is not. So I take note of that. Not, and they're, yeah. not what makes the chicken wings special. Mm, the recipe not. is mm. not about the sauce. Don't put the sauce in your eye. Uh, I learned my lesson. Already. Suddenly! Yes! <laughs> as you're all deep in thought, reveling in the taste of your chicken wings, you hear a <laughs> out the front door of this. Oh, so go not look. from the kitchen. No, it's it from the outside? It is from outside. It oh. is definitely coming from outside. Um, I, I we better take a look and see what yeah, this yeah, is. Yeah, we gotta sure. go look out the windows. All right, are you looking at the windows or are you looking at the door? Oh, I kind of want to look out the window. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. So you peer out the windows and you see, basically, you hadn't really clocked what a lovely, beautiful open meadow was there uh, uh, when you pulled up. You guys kind of came right. around the back, right? Yes. Where, the, where the port was, uh -huh. or the, the dock was. There's this beautiful green, lush meadow. And uh, and when you look there, you can see now a few remarkable things. You see that uh, indeed the side of the inn is built into this crumbling tower. Um, the, t the, 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 the old true. decrepit mm -hmm. architecture of the tower um, also has a little, like a stone Stone bridge, which seems more like a uh, what do they call? They called a Juliet Bridge. You know what I mean? Oh, like not oh, necessarily yeah. like yes. an actual we're gonna ride yeah. a wagon over it bridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, like a, like a little like more a like a almost, right? yeah, mm -hmm. like a little footbridge with some stairs that lead up to it and a little area where there seem to be some some mushrooms growing and some plants up there. You see some spiky ivy. You see a big beautiful lush tree Ooh. and again the greenery. But that, none of that is what made this noise. Yeah. Because what you do see out front, prowling through the tall grass, is a large creature with oh. four legs, <gasps> fur, and feathers. It's not pouncing. Two eyes on the front of its face. Oh, no and a sharp, oh. pointy beak. Uh, Indeed, you see an owl. <laughs> but oh, first, before so we put cute. this owlbear in the meadow, we should probably see the meadow. What? Oh. That's... What, what, what? Yeah. what? Yeah. I want to see this meadow. Oh, Welcome to wow. the meadow. Oh my god. Outside okay. of In Plain Sight. And there's the tower. Give me the set now. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can nature. see, again, a, a beautiful wide open meadow mm. area. That stream wow. from before that you came in on is still wrapping around a little bit. We have a large, beautiful mm. tree. We have a little stone bridge. And of course, unexpectedly, we also have this little guy. <laughs> who's That's not really so little, but he's my favorite mm -hmm. and he's really cute. He's so cute. Um, indeed, you see out front an owl bear prowling through the grass kind of galumphing through the ground, like galumphing through the grass, squatting down at something, because you see it is in pursuit of three very skittish, very scared giant spiders. <gasps> Now, I will say, since you guys left the front door open. Oh, yes, no. we did leave the front door open. We left open. the front oh, no. door open. Yeah. But it does not seem that this owlbear has clocked any other cre- It is very focused on getting itself some tasty spider. So uh, I back up into the room. I don't want to get the owlbear's attention. Um, but something else just hit, hit me. The evil, ma evil makes merry while good sleeps is clearly what upstairs is, evil makes merry while right. good sleeps, right? Right, uh, that's a yes. good point. Ah, and indeed. the tree, you the said? The tree hides the way. That's what so you saw on the wood. The tree. The tree this hides tree. the way. 
so we have to get to the tree, so past the owlbear. Past the owlbear and Wonderful. the spiders. Wonderful. Perhaps it likes hot wings as well, we could distract it. Wait, 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 would you give it? Right? Those are for us! <laughs> <laughs> there is what? a whole uh, barrel of them. That's not enough! <laughs> 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 They're so delicious! <laughs> but it's also See, tracing. It's already affecting you. <laughs> what do you mean? This is a totally normal response! But you said the owlbear is also chasing some giant spiders, so. Yeah. Right. We'd have to get past them as well. Mm, good point. If we distract the owl there, there's still the spiders to deal with. True. Last resort, we could give, give them some of our glorious chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see him through the window? Yes. Uh, can I cast Levitate on one of the giant spiders to just hold it in front of the owl there? Ooh. I wish you would. Uh, I it just will, wish you would. I just, that image is too good. The spider will have to make a constitution saving throw, assuming that it is unwilling. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's a it. horrifying image. <laughs> it's a pretty <laughs> wow. awful. The giant awful spiders are image. like the size of us, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not more than 500 pounds, is it? Uh, no. Okay, okay, great. Then we're good. Oh yeah, no. That's, you know, it's a DC, oh, DC 15. Yes. Yeah, no, I promise it's big. It's, ah, it's, 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 yeah. it's sad. So as this poor owlbear is floundering around, this sad little spider that has been just skittering around just, ooh, just starts floating up. <laughs> and as much as you can see on the face of a spider, because it's not exactly the most, you know, it, it doesn't exactly <laughs> convey a lot of emotion, <laughs> the panic. <laughs> In its 94 eyes, or wow. like the wow. eyes and the mandibles, and all of it. Just the panic as it is literally rising up right in front of the face of the owlbear. Are you moving it anywhere, or is it just going up? I kind of just want the spider to float like about a foot in front of the owlbear oh, so the owlbear can get it. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, give the owlbear a tree. Oh my god, that's some National Geographic yes. magic. Okay, <laughs> okay. So up comes the uh, spider, and sure enough, that owlbear is going to swat at that little dude. Uh, 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 <laughs> yes, he's going to definitely. It's not a question. <laughs> it's not even a question. One giant clawed paw comes comes up, grabs that giant spider, and that half of that giant spider is in that owlbear's mouth. Now, oh it gosh. has given the other spider oh, no, uh, a little bit oh, no. of a chance, uh, the other spiders, I should say, a chance to book it. <gasps> and those spiders, <laughs> it's like fire's coming off them as they flee oh. the scene. They just flee. They don't even, do not, like they are out Audi, Audi, out. They are out of the picture See as this later. owlbear just enjoys so they... munching on uh, this uh, little guy. So How does like this make feels, you feel? It just feels, I mean, yeah. yes, exactly. Wainus, just... Wainus, please yes. tell us. This is beautiful. Look at how the, the, the beak of the owlbear is like tearing off the legs of the, of the spider. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, we're all horrified. Are you, you taking notes? I am taking notes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Please, I'm going to write this down for, for posterity. <laughs> the the owlbear definitely have. seems Wait, to be savoring mm. this experience. I have a special interest in uh, eating habits of wild animals, and this is a Perfect example. It is interesting that it was not drawn by the smell the way other creatures were of the wings. That's true. Yeah. And Can they're not always know. aggressive, owl bears, you know? Perhaps I'd rather not. They're not, that's right. We are reassuring. Uh, that's. Uh, mm. oh, 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 gonna no. take a nap. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 no. how I feel after I this... eat too. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And it curls up like it does that thing that a little like a little dog does, like it looks yeah, around yeah. for a little spot, curls up and then just kind of flumps into the tall grass. Owlbear making um, biscuits. Yeah, just like just like and it's even like twitching a little bit, like Aww. like it's chasing spiders and it's like right. um so um the owlbear is taking a snooze. Okay. And uh, the grassy area is wide open for uh, for whatever our adventurers to okay. explore. We should, can we just say that this owl bear uh, Lego can, mini is pretty awesome? It's, it's amazing. It's <laughs> fantastic. It is adorable. It is ship's kiss. It is just delightful. All of the little articulated pieces of it. My little, little, little 
legs can move independently. It makes you not want to have combat with it. It makes well, you want to like. But you know, that, isn't that a wonderful thing? That because you didn't. You just you just <laughs> hit on it. Because I think that would lunch. actually. You fed yeah. it lunch and yeah. mess us up sleep. too. <laughs> Look at the good you do. <laughs> Excellent. And I'm just gonna move him out of the way so you guys can see. He's he's so napping what do we in do the with tree. In should, the, uh, I mean, in the we should stream. move with extreme caution. Yes. yes. Silence, yes. if possible. Caution. Should we go one at a time? Oh. We can. In which case, who's first? I, I will take on this challenge with extreme confidence. I'm worried. And with a little bit of guidance, and I'm oh, gonna cast you. guidance Wonderful. on you. Lovely. So I will stealth. Stealth, um, stealth. and what, what, what trajectory are you, well, first roll, and then we'll ask that question. <laughs> Natural 20. Again? Plus. Plus 94, what one, is your stealth? Your stealth? One for guidance, so oh my gosh, that's 21 right. plus 10 for stealth, so wow. 31. Wow. wow. You're not even invisible, but you're invisible. Um, and I will just keep an eye out, like, 31. is there anything, because you said it's pretty tall grass. Is there yes, anything definitely. around, it's very, like, very tall grass. want to make sure my feet aren't going to, like, catch on anything? Okay, okay, so as you find yourself, you're almost sliding along the wall here. <laughs> Of like uh, of in plain sight, <laughs> as you're sliding along the wall of in plain sight, mm -hmm. and you do actually, as you're hugging the wall, your foot hears something that kind of clinks against your boot, Ooh, okay. and when you look down, you notice uh, some loose coins mm. there that you can. Uh, uh, snatch Just up a little pass. bit of those, yes. and um, you also notice a small key. Oh, just a okay. small golden key. I pick it's it up unremarkable. and kind of hold up my uh, keychain that has many different keys on it and different tools, and I'm like, take a minute to Excellent. you know find the ring and you're. Like, <laughs> What's taking him so long? There we go. Great, great. Um, and you do, there's, there's, there's some, definitely some like considerable amount of coins. It's uh, uh, it's uh, loosely just kind of giving it a, a cursory look. It seems like it might be like around 150 gold what? pieces. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Um, you also Ooh. get a little bit closer to the, uh, the bridge. There are little stairs that lead up to the next level here mm -hmm. where it seems like there are a variety of different uh, fungi and mush mushrooms and things up Ooh. there. Um, do you continue? Or what do you do? I'll uh, maybe try and climb up a little bit just to kind of crest the top and oh, look. Oh, excellent. And, uh, okay. Robin will say, "Well, I am vegetarian, so maybe mushrooms with the sauce would be better." And I'll just uh -huh. look for some uh -huh. for look some like you. you know oyster mushrooms, the the meaty kind, the mm. delicious kind. Ooh. I love it. I love this for you. Um, <laughs> as you uh, as you uh, take a little bit of a side tour over here and pull up to the top, you do notice some just kind of like basic mushrooms, but then you also notice two much more remarkable looking mushrooms. Um, they're a little taller than the others, and they have little stalks that kind of come off the sides a little bit. And two, uh, at the base of them, are two different like uh, sections that seem to be rooted in the ground, but then all of a sudden, you see oh, two man. tiny eyes just oh, no. blink open. Just blink, 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 I blink, keep blink. Insanely still with my 31 then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just peer back down and I will wait for the rest of the party to get to that point where I'll whisper. Excellent. Hey, over here. All right, excellent. This Albert is snoring happily, like it's out. It's cool. like it's it's done for the winter. <laughs> it's out, even though it's the middle of summer. It's done for the winter. Um, and you guys all come around. You're basically grouped around the stairs at the base of this little ledge here. So all of you cuties are are, are, <laughs> are just uh, bunched up there by the stairs, and your incredibly stealthy friend, who now all of you see, has been stealthing so stealthily. Um, there's a number of mushrooms up here, but they seem to have eyes. Anyone seen that before? Have I heard of mushrooms with eyes? Roll me a uh, nature check. In nature, that's not, oh, that's fine. Oh, it's a 22. Ooh. Oh, well, all right, uh, <laughs> professor with a double major. Um, <laughs> you indeed have heard 
of sentient mushrooms before. Um, you have heard of entire uh, fungal networks, actually, that exist uh, beneath the ground. Um, uh, and of these myconid creatures that are sentient and uh, don't necessarily have language available to them, but lore has mm. it, and this part you're not entirely, it's more like sometimes rumor, sometimes it could be real, you've just heard, the science is not sure mm. whether this is accurate. Some scientists say yes, some scientists don't. Um, that uh, they communicate telepathically mm. with those that they are in contact with. Hmm. Yes, I have heard of these types of things. Uh, they are sentient. Great. Um, some people think that they speak telepathically. Personally, I think that's a, a wild theory, mm. unsubstantiated for sure. Are they hostile? Are they oh. aggressive? Oh, or... not normally. Good. Perhaps we should be polite and just say hello. Do you want to say hello? They're sure. Yes. I'm going to creep up to the edge. <laughs> Hello! As you come up and say <laughs> hello to them, um, they just, sh just shuffle a little bit back oh. and look at each other. And one of them gingerly steps forward and just blows out of its mouth. <gasps> and spores come out of its mouth oh, and no. engulf your head in them. Can you roll me a. <laughs> A constitution save. Yep. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. Now I'm gonna add nothing to it, which is why it has to be so good. Uh. That's a five. Uh -oh. okay. Thank you now, so much. I am much. gonna ask you a question with that five, however. Uh huh. Are you attempting to resist these spores, or are you attempting to let them in? Well, I suspect that since she does not believe that they communicate telepathically, she probably would be like, ah, spore is danger, oh. and would try to resist mm, inhaling them. So desperately, as it happens, because you did not expect it, you close your mouth, you cover your nose, but you can just feel it. Like, you feel these spores get in to Oof. your nasal passage, and you oh. inhale just the tiniest bit of them. And as it happens, you get this sensation of just a little bit of, like, tingling that happens in your nasal passages, and all of a sudden you look at this myconid and it almost appears like it has a mouth, but it doesn't seem like it's actually speaking out of it <coughs> when it says to you, hmm. hi. Oh. <laughs> Why oh. is this terrifying? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's been we substantiated by science now. No. Oh. Hello? Hello. Hi there. Are you speaking out loud at it's, this point? I think I'm you... speaking out loud. Oh, is she speaking too? I don't Hi. know. Um, oh, can you? You can hear me, right? It's speaking to me. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I can. The mushroom that's is cool. speaking to you. That's so cool. Hey, that isn't is that cool? Oh yeah, cool. that's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we were a little bit worried. We were also, yes. Yeah. They were worried about the owl bear. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. I'm just, we're just sitting up here, just kind of watching life go by. It's really nice up here. <laughs> how, that, are you, how are you speaking? That's to them? I think that it was the spores. Ah. Oh, maybe you could talk to them too if you got some spores. Uh. In uh, you. Did, uh, did you just hear what you just said? <laughs> Are your friends nice too? Oh, yes, so but they're a little hesitant. I think they're afraid that if they inhale your spores, it might have some sort of negative effect on them. Oh no, we, we just like people and animals and things that aren't mean to us. They like people and things that aren't mean to them. Okay. Um, um, unlike that guy who keeps coming out here. What guy? The one that lives in the tower. In the tower, not in the inn? There's a there's a bad man that lives in the tower. Do you trust it? Oh, a hundred percent. I've never trusted any creature more. Okay. I, I uh, doesn't seem threatening at all. Uh, hello, little one. Get some spores. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you reach out to it? I do. Um, it Very curls cautiously. back just oh. a little bit oh, no, no. and looks at you, and 
Ah. You just hear the little bit of a sound of a puff of air, and your face is enveloped in spores. Now, how do you react to said experience? Uh, I, uh, I'm very willing to eat magic chicken, <laughs> but there's something about <laughs> sentient mushrooms that is, I've not seen, Gaspar has not seen this before, and mm -hmm. I think out of a reaction, I reach out to whoever's closest to me, and I'm just assuming, Wayness, you were nearby, and I'm pulling you in to the spore cloud. Oh, uh, amazing. You're little, you're no. Both of you roll me a constitution. <laughs> I mean, I really want to. I really want the spores, but I don't know if Gaspar does. Um, a thirteen for me. Okay. A fifteen. Whoa. Okay. All right. So um, you pull Wayness in, mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, it is not fast enough, really, <sighs> to protect you uh -huh. from the spores. Unfortunate in your own head. Because again, oh. once again, you feel this little tingling sensation, but it is not unpleasant. It just, it just feels like a, just like a little bit of a tingling. And then you hear, tap tap. Is this thing on? <laughs> oh. Hello. You, see? Well, I, uh, I, I, what do I, I, do I see the mouth appear too? So you see the mouth appear, but you do not see it moving. You just see the mushroom kind of tipping its head. Oh. It's telepathic, you're part you. of the fungal network now. Now, Wayness, you too are in this area, but you are seeing the same thing happening, but you're not necessarily audibly hearing. Uh, what Kaspar, are you are you okay? What's what's going on? I'm not I'm not sure, but this is what you're experiencing as you hear. Yes. Uh, so it's speaking to you. Yes, they're thinking to me, but I I'm gonna think back to the mushroom. Okay. And what are you going to think? <laughs> <laughs> and what are you thinking with your you thinking words? Uh, your thinking <laughs> words. Can you, I am not a mushroom. Can you I am simply hear me? playing a mushroom on television. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it really well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I, do you hear me in your mind? Oh, yeah, I do. <gasps> oh, yeah, we hear you. Can right. I describe Mary, Mary mm. Rum, yes. Rumwell? Rumwell? You certainly can. Does that description match? I just want to ask them if that's the angry man. Yeah, I don't like him at all. He made us like take things and hide them and yelled at us Wait. and told us he would be to hurt us if Ooh. we didn't hide. I'm translating, yeah, so I'm they, they all know. Okay. <laughs> I think I can do it. You can yes. do it, yeah, you can do it. Well, s s sporum. Hello. And uh, Robin like it? holds his breath till the last minute and he's like. <laughs> just like the tiniest little like That's inhale. That's so cute, I'm just gonna let it happen. That is so adorable. <laughs> Bring it. So you, 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 you and then they, you, all you hear when all of a sudden the tingling happens, because that was so cute, you hear. <laughs> that was really cute. He did a cute thing. Oh yeah, that was really cute. I've never seen anybody do it that way before. Oh. <laughs> this is terrifying. You're terrified? They just laughed. Well, you in a cute hey, way. you know what? Should we? Should we maybe be rebels and do something that the bad guy told us not to do? Yeah, what do you think? Maybe that? we should. What did he tell you not to do? You want to be rebels? Eh? You want to be rebels about He you told us to hide things, but you guys seem so nice. I think maybe we should give them to you. Oh, that'd be so kind. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. Maybe we Find out what they so are first. the little, uh, the smaller, um, seemingly because the voices are coming from both of them, the oh, yeah. higher pitched uh, Mike and Ed, uh, which also seems to be the smaller one, um, sort of like scurries back to the back of their area and um, and starts to like feverishly dig up a little hole, almost like a puppy uh, oh. has hidden a bone, oh, man. and um, pulls so out terrifying. two and bottles. Yeah. To pulls out two tiny little bottles. Bottles. And maybe Hmm. I have these two for you. Oh, thank you so much. Do I? These look like potions. They sure do. I recognize do. Them? Um, uh, roll me an Arcana check. Okay. Oh, uh, twenty-six. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you can see through them. Ooh. Like ah. You can see the molecular structure uh. of these potions. You are now the proud owner of a potion of healing and a potion of acid resistance. <gasps> oh! Wow! Oh, we're really doing this, are we? Oh, we're such rebels! And the other one such runs rebels. over to another area and, and feverishly digs something up. 
pulls out, it's bigger than they are, oh. pulls out <laughs> a Judy, Judy shield. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, if you want to help, someone take this, it's really oh, heavy. I'll, I'll, I'll help you with that. I haven't really worked out much. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, is a, the it is a beautiful, beautiful shield. Um, if you would like to make uh, an arcana check, or you would like to make an arcana check to see what it is. I will cast Identify. All right. Uh, it, it consumes my pearl worth 100 gold pieces, so right. I will take a pearl out of my pouch, mm -hmm. pop All it in right. my mouth, and <laughs> chew it up. That's how, I, that's how we cast magic you around here. actually yes. consume it yourself. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Delicious. Like <a> <laughs> uh, and I choose the shield and I learn its properties. I don't have to roll All right, wonderful. Um, this shield is a sentinel shield. Ooh. While oh. holding this shield, the holder has advantage on initiative rolls and oh. wisdom perception checks. I believe that this is the shield. Mm. <gasps> This is the shield. I don't know why the mushroom is talking. Um, that that is the shield. Wow. Oh. Who who wants to shield? Oh, this, this, uh, we, we, uh, the shield is, is, is magical and and and. I can barely and, hold I, this I, thing. I, <laughs> you're the one that can wield this. It's it's. Do you have a use for it? I have a shield. I I really think should be yours, Wade, as you're the one that's been jumping in and 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 you and you're hurt. You're still hurt. Oh yes, you're still hurt. You're still hurt, and I have Do you want this potion of healing? It's nothing. I, you know what? Even I, 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 as you're saying potion of healing, I, I'm beside myself as I am watching you, um, still hurt and not ever even complained about it, oh. and riddled with guilt. And I take the chicken wing that's probably still in my hand, and I say to you, "You're right. There's something. There, there's something about this thing. It really does consume your mind." And I uh, throw it on the ground, and I cast cure wounds on you because because you were hurt. Amazing. Uh, um, and Poor you guy. will get back. He's a forgetful old dude. Like yeah, he's he's been happens. around. It takes some time. He's I'll not still focused. take that. That is 13 points. Oh, you nice. that, that you nice. Nice. Perfect. Well done. Thank you, Gaspar. I feel much better. No, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I was I, just a I little... Should've, I should have, I don't know what it was that I, I, I you must have this shield. You, you clearly are the one that needs to wield it. You're, I'm sorry, I, 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 I should have, I should have done that much sooner. Oh, he, he only feels guilty um, for not healing our friend earlier. What's guilty? Oh, this could be a very long conversation. Yes. <laughs> we'll have to come back and then we can talk about human emotions and stuff. Okay. Hey, listen. Um, do you think maybe you guys could, uh, we feel really badly about that poor guy that the mean guy took inside. Maybe you could find him. Um, that, is, sorry, that is guilt, by the way, what you're describing. Guilty. Oh. Guilty is right, guilt? Like feeling badly like, oh, unless you think you couldn't have stopped him. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to put that in like you could have, <laughs> I didn't mean to make you feel bad. <laughs> That's guilty. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Was um, this a, dr a, 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 a scaly <laughs> fellow? It's so, um, I just want to pat the little they. mushroom head. Yes. No, as like as I'm making these facial expressions, the eyes are, but the mouth is oh. not. <laughs> you just see the so eyes kind of turn. Absolutely explaining this to you. And I see the mushroom going. Yes, you exactly. You see, just, you just see the mushroom kind of compressing and then coming up to normal compressing. Well. Yeah. Um, I tried to. Oh, that's right. I rolled yeah, a one. Yeah. <laughs> so, Alex, where did they take this into the, person? Through the, the tower. Into the tower. Where do, uh, oh, the point the, behind them into the tower. In, in there, like in oh, there. the tower. Oh, the tower. Do you know how to get in there? You know, I've seen people go around to this side here and not come back, but I don't know how they get in. Do you think the, it's the, the tree? The tree that the way. It must be. If you go down there, I think you can figure it out because you're really smart, so, so we'll watch over here and if, if, if the owlbear wakes up, I'll just go, hey! And see, and then you'll know that the owlbear's up. That, that sounds perfect. Yes. Okay, Wonderful. thanks for stopping by. We'll just be here. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. I can't. Oh, so um, so you make your way down the stairs, I'm assuming a little carefully because carefully. of our sleeping mm -hmm. buddy over yes. there. Yes. should be quiet. Um, and uh, are you heading in the, 
we should look behind the trees. Yes. yes. All right. Excellent. Or the way. So, hides away. so, uh, so you guys again, kind of sidling up against this wall, mm. and uh, right as you approach the tree, um, you know the, the 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 leaves are already swaying in the wind a little mm. bit as you approach the tree, and. Uh, Althea, you were the first to notice because you you come up to the tree and you're just kind of like pressing up against mm. the trunk to see if there's anything. Oh, 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 tree. oh, oh that tickles! Oh, <laughs> and some branches move away, <gasps> and you see that the tree <gasps> has a beautiful, <gasps> wizened face oh, wow. right there in the front. Smiling at you. Oh, this is just that tickles me. Guess one's beard oh. is almost as glorious as yours. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh yes. my dear. Well, you oh. flatter me. Oh. Is he a relative? Yes. Oh, everything oh, there. Oh, sorry. I see <laughs> that the owl bear is sleeping. Have you been watching the nature show in front of us? It's been amazing. <laughs> it's been like watching a. It's been like an amazing feat of what nature can do. Yes, it has. Did you see the owl bear? Yes, yeah, it's right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Watches the it's sleep. Sleeping owl bear naps in its native habitat. Yes. <laughs> you, you. Earlier before, it was it was trying to eat the rare but powerful giant spider. Oh, it was quite magnificent. Can you hear so, this tree? David I can hear this tree. Oh, that, means er, that means everything can hear this tree. But, but here I am. I am simply yes. a part of nature and a water of nature. I enjoy the birds. I enjoy all of the little woodland creatures around here. Ever since I was awakened, I've had such awakened. a lovely time. Who awakened you? Oh, many, many moons ago, <laughs> there was a, <coughs> a lovely person, similar to all of you, who thought that it would be nice if I had the ability to experience life as you do. Obviously, mm. I cannot ambulate the way that all of you do, oh, you but I go. stand here as a, a water of things. I can walk, I'm just very slow. Could you show us the way, or allow us to pass into the tower? I can certainly show you the door, oh. and it moves aside some of its uh, branches. Oh. I, I couldn't necessarily tell you oh, how oh, to get in because oh, I can't quite see behind myself that way. <laughs> but uh, but I do know it's possible. Is it locked? Do you know if it's locked mm. or? Uh, that, I mean, I can actually just yeah. go and check. Yeah. Can, yes. you, can we pass your branches? Oh, tree? yeah, that's very kind of you to ask. Yes, of course, my dear. Yes, yes, you can. Thank you. Um, so, uh, are you Look. you're examining the door? Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll roll an uh, investigation check on the door to see if it's okay. trapped. Okay. 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 Oh, yes. smart. You can guide it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The guidance will not matter. Oh, okay. that's a one. Oh, oh, man. oh snap! <laughs> so, um, so as Mike. you are, uh, as you are going to investigate this doorknob, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, another wave of that barrel that's still in the inn, another wave of that comes and just kind of knocks you sideways. You're just like so distracted, and all you can think about are those chicken wings. <laughs> Shake it off. Focus back up. And you do notice one thing, which is that the handle on the door is mm. glowing. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> Althea. Yes. I. The door is glowing. I don't have much. Right. Knowledge of that. I. You might. Will cast dispel magic on the door handle. Ooh. Ooh. It can't be anything good. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Dispel magic. There's no roll or anything. Dispel magic just dispels it. Right. Uh, as long as it's. Um, uh, it, if it's a spell below fourth level, oh sorry, third level or lower, so yeah, below fourth level, the spell just ends. Excellent. 
Okay, so as you cast, what does your dispel magic look like? Yeah. Ooh. I will walk up and with one hand, I will sort of like sense the magic and then with the other, I will like erase it. <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing. You're just wiping that clean, just like wiping That's your counter, awesome. just wiping the magic it's very clean. satisfying. Yeah. Yes, that is Such very satisfying. Like, so as you, hold your, as you hold your hand up and you start to wipe, you literally start to see where you're wiping uh, in your in your vision stops glowing and it just becomes a normal door handle. Um, that's it. <clears throat> Excellent. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I also found a gold key. I'm now wondering if oh, that could have opened the, the door. door. Well, I've only dispelled whatever check. was glowing, so it could still be locked. That's true. I do have a spell for that too, but it does Shall seem I to just be something try the you key? could do. Yeah. I'll try. I'll try mm -hmm. put the gold key in. Click. The... Ooh. <gasps> Look that at never that. happens. Wow. <laughs> well, Wainis, Wh 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 you said that you, you have become an adventurer so that you can have a closer look at all of these natural creatures and magical creatures that are out there. Indeed. There's so much more out there in the world that than even appears in some textbooks. Yes. I, would, I would take notes on this one in particular. So it seems. At least you can get up close to this one. And You're I look, welcome I look to back come to see back the and talk to me anytime. I'd love to ask you some questions. Yes, yes, right. definitely, definitely. But, but don't waste your time on me. I have a very long time to stay here. I'm not going anywhere. It seems like you've planted <laughs> your roots. Exactly. In that, yes. Make I yourself have. at home. Are you saying we should yes. leave? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's happening. You asked for this. You asked for this. Oh no. I think it's time for some uh, a punspiration. What? <laughs> I bid you the great coin of inspiration because I do love a good pun. Thank you. Or a bad pun. There are no bad puns. There are just boring just... people. <laughs> <laughs> Puns are always fun. It's true. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't believe they're dad jokes. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. All right. So yes, please uh, enjoy your coin. Mm. Thank enjoy you. Enjoy your statuette. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm very proud of both of you. No. Uh, and don't I'm forget you have them. for inspiration. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming, baby. It's coming, Boo Boo. I believe in you. All right. So uh, who's opening the door? I will open the door. All right, Wainus is it's going to open the door. Step inside. And we are going to see what you see when you open. It's blue now. The door. So as you open this newly unlocked and demagicked door. Yes. Nice work. Um, it is very dark and dim in this uh, dungeon. A, t a torch is lighting part of it, but it's still very, 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 very dim. Um, you see, as you begin to walk inside, you see a few things. You see, uh, leaning against one wall is a skeleton oh. that happens to be missing its skull, oh. NBD. Oh. Um, oh. Clutched in one of its hands is a, a scimitar. Um, there are other items just what? seem to be scattered about, a shield, there's a book in the corner, there's a, a staff that seems to have frost on it, <gasps> um, all scattered throughout the gloom. There is also a ladder that ascends to a closed, seemingly some kind of a cell door of some mm -hmm. kind. Mm. But what you do notice as soon as you walk inside um, as, you, as you all kind of move in pretty quickly with your dark vision that all of you happen to have, <laughs> yes, yeah. which kind of makes dim spaces not so fun for me. <laughs> um, what you do see when you walk in, all, uh, all four of you, is that three black globs are oozing and creeping <laughs> across the dungeon floor. Um, and with a quick glance, especially for you, Robin, with yeah. your, your high perception, um, you see, strangely, there are some objects floating in the air oh, over uh, on the other like, side of the room. I, I kind of like look and I go, are you casting Levitate again? I am not. Hmm. Oh, oh no. what, um, something's got. So you see these mm -hmm. black oozes coming towards you, and they 
uh, starts to move toward, obviously, oh. the first person coming into the room. No, 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 no. Yes. Which is you, uh, but guys. then suddenly, they peel off slightly to the side and come <gasps> around to Gaspar. <gasps> what? To Gaspar. Oh. Two. Oh. Does a 19 hit? It does. It oh. does. Okay, so hang on a second because it's going to do a little bit of damage. Apologies in advance. I'm already, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, you are ready. And you're a healer, so I should calm down. It's all fine. Everything's it's fine. fine. <laughs> Gosh, Anjali, don't be the player, be the DM. Um, I just care Try about, to I just them. care too much about you all. <laughs> um, you take. Uh, five points uh, of acid damage oh. as as a little part oh. of your oh. armor starts to kind of steam a little bit on your uh, just on like the side of your chest. It kind of lashed out at you. Now, when that happens, something else extraordinary happens, mm. which is that it knocks that hot sauce <gasps> off your belt. <gasps> no and all of the oozes begin to ooze toward it. <gasps> no, they Ooh, were drawn. They lure it, lure it, yes. throw, it, throw it away, lure them away. So I, I, uh, uh, I, I'm recalling like passing it to you, and then you must have given it back to me, and then I'm giving it back to you again. It's yours. It's yours. No, no, I don't want it. <laughs> oh no, it's on the ground. It's shattered yes, on the ground. I'm gonna fall. move away from it. It I'll has take fallen, it. On the it's ground, fallen on the ground. So they are all now. Oh. They love the hot sauce. Oh, this is our moment to get. If we use this like a face, through. it would be this. <laughs> That's the face you would imagine on these oozes oh. as they are obsessing over, surprisingly, the hot wing sauce. Everybody wants the hot wing sauce. I don't understand. It is really delicious. It's, it's really, really delicious sauce. It's just, it's just, just start past them. Yes, I'm moving past them already, and I'm holding my arm, which is but what burning. But the stuff that's floating in the air. Right. I mean, right? Just, no, no. The distance is fine, yes, right? Yes, it's pretty far yeah. off on the other side of the room. You, you're, there's, there's stuff floating over there, and then there's all this stuff scattered around in the room yeah. that you saw. What about the staff that was frosty? What about the frosty staff? Do you want to go over and look? As long as there aren't floating items between me and the frosty. I mean, yeah. yeah. There are Maybe. not floating. It's kind of like a, they're, they're kind of like tucked away mm, in the yeah. side of the okay. wall. Like you've got Mr. Like headless skeleton over check there. Check it out. Yes, please check it out. Also, I have this acid resistance potion, oh. but it's just for one of us. Who no, don't it? don't worry. One of you, one of you, hold on to that. I'm I'm okay. I mean, you found it. You person take it. Person with the with the lowest. If you were to quantify your health, <laughs> I'm okay. Are you probably you. It's probably well, yeah. me. <laughs> Perhaps. Yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, just keep it, I'm keeping I'll a look out on the blobs mm. while, yes. while we investigate. Just let me know when we're moving yeah. I just forward. want to scope out that staff. Absolutely. So you head over to the staff, and um, certainly it's a long, beautifully carved staff, but it does look like it's been sitting in a freezer because it's got it's like covered mm. in mm. frost at the top, and then the, the full top of it is just almost like glowing with frost. I'm just going to be like, one, two, and grab it. Excellent, it is yours. Oh, oh. All right, great. You, you now you are in possession of this wonderful staff, so grab cool. onto that, baby. Whoa, that is, look I, at that. Look at that piece. It's so cool. Look at that piece. Are you looking for yourself? My, where's my guy? Here you are. You can place that staff. Excellent. Okay. And you see oh, also, I'm I'm cool. Cool. while you run over this. to the, while you run over there, you also see a rather unremarkable looking <gasps> short bow right next to it. Um, I will grab it just. All right. But what if that's the cursed thing? You might as well. <laughs> you, you grab it, don't really notice anything. You just a short bow, you yeah. got a bunch of stuff in your hands. You're pretty, you're pretty solid. Could, um, could I try and grab the scimitar? You certainly can. I mean, I'm hoping the skeleton doesn't do anything. And well, I'm just gonna yeah. cautiously like, <laughs> just <laughs> grab it. You take a second as you're watching it. It does not move. There's no sign of the skull anywhere? You do see when you look across the room and, floating. and see the floating <laughs> things, you see a Poor Yorick. Yes, I well. exactly. <laughs> we were waiting for it. You already have inspiration. I can't give you another statuette. Um, this, yes, this indeed. There's there as well. There's, yes, exactly. There's, a, there's, like, there's like pieces of this skeleton kind of all over the room. Oh. Um, also, though, when you look over there in the where that head is, yeah. you also see uh, what looks to be like it looks like a frying pan, and uh, and this kind of golden gem. Oh. Yes. 
Now, yeah. as you are all kind of in here and you hear the slurping getting louder and louder, oh. you hear another sound. Um, hello? Yes, hello, sorry. is there anyone down there? Oh, the cell. Hello? Oh, yes. Hello, please help. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the ladder's oh, down. The ladder up. Look, we don't have much time. Those things. Hello, help, tracks. please. Yes. I, it's uh, me. Alex? Oh. Yes, of course. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello, please. Alex. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, is it a friend? Uh, is it Quincy? Someone, please come help me. Uh, well, I'll, I'll run it away. Quincy is. Quincy is um, I don't, I, oh, Quincy. I'll try and no, I'll knock the door. I'll try. I'll try and unlock the door. Oh, um, uh, so you're. Well, I'll a, yeah? run and climb. Wait, 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 wait! Go! Oh, guidance. I just, I just, <laughs> I just stretch my toe out, and you. Just yep, that's all I need. Excellent. Uh, how are you going to open this door? Uh, I'm going to take out my oh, yes. uh, little tools, my okay. thieves' tools, and I'm going to try and I'm going to try and unlock the door. Just oh, stand yes, back in case. Just be anything. careful. There are, there are apparently there's some slurpy, oozy things down there. Yes, yes. That awful sorcerer put them down there. Sorcerer. 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 Mm. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Hot sorcerer. Hot sorcerer. Uh, don't make fun. <laughs> Did you just say sorcerer? Yeah, a hot sorcerer. sorcerer. <laughs> I think that. Matters. Were you perhaps? Jordan's good at this. <laughs> yeah, fishing team. for inspiration. Wow. Of course I am. <laughs> Please, Sire. Yes. Please enjoy your we fish inspiration. Oh. I'm vegetarian, but it's fine. That's fine. You can be a pescatarian for the day. It does look a little bit like. <laughs> <laughs> like a little I'll keep fish. my fish. Excellent, excellent. Sorry, I got so, distracted I'll, by I'll tell Alex to just stand back burger. in case there's any traps or anything, and I will try and pick the lock. Excellent, excellent. That is a natural 19 <gasps> for Excellent. a 28. You barely put your tools inside the lock and just oh. like, exactly. That's exactly what it looks like. like. You're it just such an expert. Himself, but <clears throat> <laughs> and I'll, I'll open the door. Wonderful. You open the door. And would you please open <gasps> the door? Do it. Yes. Oh, hello, thank you oh. so much. Um, but you're not Quincy. Oh, um, no. Hello, <coughs> my, my, my name is, my name is uh, Alex. My name is Alex. Jade um, Scales. Yeah, yes, presume. Jade Scales, exactly. Hi. I am the proprietor of the, of the in plain side. Um, right. uh, have, you, oh, have you dispatched of the, oh no, there they are. They yes. love that hot sauce, don't yes. they? Um, uh, you have to be careful, you know. There's this terrible, terrible sorcerer around here. Yes. Uh, uh, he Beef. brought me in here. He, he pretended wow. to be someone who would buy my beautiful <gasps> inn, and I thought here that he, I thought everything was fine, but instead he imprisoned me. Well, why, why would he do such a thing? Well, I, I, I'm assuming that he had some nefarious scheme to do with those poor other adventurers that he hired. You know, the the, the uh, hard way, I believe, uh, that they're called. He hired them. So, so did he hire them? To poor others. Do you make just oh, yeah. oh we we should should move. let's yeah we is should move. Is there anything else on the ground that is yeah, worth taking? That. Just like I see something you could uh, maybe use. It's like a beautiful looking mace. Ooh. Indeed, you do see. Uh, you do star. see a special. It looks like a sensor. It's like a. It's like a mm. mace, but it does seem a little bit more, not a mace. Uh, it's almost like a, 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 a morning oh, star with a, a round, oh. like a flail. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, um, so you'd see that down there. It does have a little bit of a a, a gentle glow Ooh. to it. <gasps> that is interesting. I would like to. I would like to. Uh, I'm drawn to it as soon as yes. as soon as uh, 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 it's pointed out to me. Excellent. Um, you head over, deftly avoiding the oh, yeah. slurpity slurpers, and you have this. Um, oh. So there you are. Um, and maybe when you guys have a little more time, you can decide to figure out what that is. Yes. Yeah, we can identify yeah. later. Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. Um, but yeah, keep an There's eye out. Again, if you that's see it, in the air. if you see yes. it, it is in that room. There's also, right. There's There's also a book. Coins. Oh, a book. A, 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 a darkened book. A darkened a book. book. All right, all right. Who's go, who's, is anyone running for the book? Uh, is it floating? The book is not, not floating. floating. No. Um, no. I, we can uh, grab it, but you, you it's know just more on a about little, books Yeah, it's on a little Certainly. shelf that's like right behind the ladder. So it's near, okay. the, near enough to the door. Okay. I will go up to the book and does it look like it's, uh, like, does it look cursed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it exactly does a cursed dark lore. It looks dark. Like, does it look spooky? I mean, no. <laughs> no I wouldn't say it looks. It, it's not going to start. It, it doesn't look like it's going to. It might start talking. Okay, it's not uh, like, uh, oh, this book is covered in spiders and. No, and there's not like evil. And, no, okay. no, no, no. It does have some intricate um, filigree okay. on mm. it. I will pick up the book. 
Excellent. And um, as you Keep pick up the book, you notice that balanced against it nope. is a small shield. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, I keep waiting for a trap. <sighs> okay. Ooh. That goes in your little bag of holding over there. You're not a so shield. little bag of holding. Shield. And when you, you look at the book, you do notice that there are some parchments that have been tucked away inside the book, mm. as well as the book itself. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we'll deal with this. We'll yeah. look at this shortly. Let's just yes. keep moving. We're in a safer oh. situation. But, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, have you seen Pouncy by any chance? No, 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 we saw the parchment about him, but we have not seen them, unfortunately. Oh, no. oh Pouncy, um, I miss my Pouncy so much. I'm sure that that sorcerer has done something awful to him. Yeah. I just abhor me. violence, but I, I can't stand that. I, I just can't <sighs> stand that he came in here and, and did all of these things to us. Well, we'll see if we can just try to set it right. But are, are you, are you, are you skilled? Are you a skilled ad ad adventurer? You are. Are you not? I was, I was, I was a were. former adventurer, you see. Yes, of course. But I, I, like I said, I abhor violence. So I decided to take a more pacifist attempt to to help my community, my adventuring community. So I, I developed the In Plain Sight. I worked very hard on my recipe for these beautiful hot wings. I was very yeah. proud of it, and people came from all over the land. It was, it was. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> They're a fan of your hot yes. sauce. Yes. Well, who isn't? Exactly. <laughs> I pride myself on my hot sauce. I do, at least until that sauce. Took over. Oh, I tell you, I, I, I finished my adventuring days, began the In Plain Sight. Uh, those lovely people from the hard way came to visit, and then that mm. fellow came, told them to go find an egg for him, and, uh, and the rest is history. He put me in the cell, he told them that he was the new proprietor, and I couldn't do anything about it. I'm sure they're somewhere around here, very angry. Oh, so wait. many questions. Yes. Right, so little time. Yes, Alex, would, uh, it's quite dangerous to head back. There's an owl bear that might be awake. Oh dear! Um, do you want to come with us? W will you help me find Pounce? Eh? Well, I've, I've, we'll and try. Put, uh, maybe put a stop to this yes. saucer. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not necessarily helpful in a battle anymore. I'm a bit out of practice, you... but I absolutely want to watch you exact revenge for my is, so my terrible trip. Tri uh, is there uh, anything fight. that you could? Used to protect yourself, right. fight with. Right. Any, you don't I have to did fight have my, protect yourself. My very fancy f uh, her, um, family heirloom frying pan. I don't. Oh. Oh. Oh yes, it's the here. one that's floating. Oh. In oh, that's all. Space. Is there any chance I have read about a <laughs> something, a phenomenon me, like uh, this? <laughs> Roll me either a nature or an. Check. Oh, oh look, like the, the mushrooms the are the apparently back in the back. Arcana Spectre for me. Uh, then so, the Alex can't see well. Uh, it's an 18. Excellent. So you mm. have heard tell of something that uh, uh, many magic uh, uh, users, people of people, uh, casters, may do to enchant a creature known as a gelatinous cube. Wow. You've heard tell of them using these uh, creations to uh, uh, protect areas and just kind of, not necessarily taming them per se, but uh, setting them in certain locations. Mm. Mm. I think there is a chance that these items are floating due not to some sort of levitation magic, but instead that they are floating within a creature that is difficult for us to oh, see. Great. Transparent. Great. You see these great. small oozes, I think maybe a sign or yes. Yes. a symptom. Um, I, will, I will do one thing for Al Alex. Is there, is there anything in his hands? Uh, um, I will um, uh, hand him, uh, oh, there's like a, a a plate or a goblet or some any any other item that I can find in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to hand it to him and I'm going to cast light mm. on it. Oh, oh he that's could nice. uh, hold. And I pull out the shield from the hold, uh, bag of holding light. Yes, oh. this. Oh, oh yes, this, this is that perfect. We have a shield collection. We, we do. Uh, we have a shield. shield. Are we the one we just, just the one that we just got? We just got. So, okay, great, yeah. great, 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 great. And I will cast light on that so our dragonborn friend can see. Mm. Excellent. So when you cast light, there is definitely, because it is a, a pretty far-reaching, yes. <laughs> you definitely now start to see the outline of this globule, this somewhat cubulous, yeah, that's a word, I own it. Mm. Um, nice. uh, cubulous. Globule in front of uh, a door. Um, Ooh, and and weirdly, whoever wants to roll a perception check. 
Oh. Natural 20. Of course Again? you did. <laughs> yeah. Of course you did. I love this for you. Okay, so you see the globule, but then you also see sort of the outline 12. of a really tiny little globule behind it. Oh, a baby what? cube. Just a thing. <laughs> Just a thing. Um, okay. I think now, since you guys, uh, since you have foiled my nefarious plans, I think it might be time to uh, show you what this little uh, creature looks like. So we have our we have our lovely uh, gelatinous Oh, cube. there's your look at him. Yeah, well, that's really for your frying pan and inside. You can see there's a frying pan inside. Oh, the there's a little gem. Oh. There's a skull. And the skull from the skull. Oh, oh my God. Itty bitty one behind it. It's so weird. What? Look at him. You can't make a baby gelatinous cube. Well, uh, <laughs> um, I don't want to her to just try and grab it from the side. Well, I don't want to. I'm having a moral like <laughs> issue. <laughs> like I, I it's say, cute. Yes, and remember what I did tell you at the very beginning. Yes, that every combat can be avoided. I do, and I'm do. never gonna get to cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Don't well, worry, listen. my pet. Don't worry. What if we put yes. it with a stick? Oh, I, I, I've, I've heard push it through. I, oh. that, that, that would make sense if it just didn't push the, the frying stick. pan out the other side. <laughs> uh, I am going to cast. Oh, wait, duration. Yeah, okay, good. I'm going to cast Mage Hand, and then I'm going to try <laughs> to have the Mage Hand just. Go into the oh cube gosh. and grab nice. the pan. I l- l- love this for you. Okay, so let me think. Mage Hand does not have a role for having to do things. You really are just reaching inside, and it's magical, so it can't take any damage. So, um, nice. it does, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it can't attack, properties. so I guess it just, but it, it's not But it can attacking. interact with objects. It, it also can't carry objects. more than 10 pounds, so I don't know how heavy mm. that pan is. Ten pounds I mean, is a heavy. That's band. a heavy. That would be like iron. Super cast iron. Yeah, <laughs> that would be like cast iron upon cast iron. Um, uh, I love this so much, um, and I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily know what one would roll for it. So describe <laughs> to me how yeah. your mage hand um, uh, oozes into the ooze and slurps its way in. What does your mage hand look like? So uh, to summon it. I put my hands together, and then when I pull them apart, there's a third hand in between Ooh. them. Uh, Creepy. And cool. then I like I, I can control it with my one hand, nice. so I'll just like mime what is happening, okay. and the hand will like zoom forward. Okay. And uh, just ca- it's gonna go like this and just shoot right into <laughs> right, the jelly. Right. Okay. Uh, and then it will reach for the. Pan. I mean, okay. I imagine it would move pretty slowly once yeah. it's in the. Yeah. So it's it's definitely like there's a time warp almost. Mm-hmm. Like it reaches in and then all of a sudden. Moves very slowly, but it is able to reach forward and grab onto that pan. And where would you like it to go from there? I just want it to go backwards. Back it out of the cube towards me. Yeah. And your mage hand is holding a a silvered frying pan. And well, I guess um, I'd bring it straight to Alex. Oh, that's very kind of you. If you would give that to Alex. (laughs) Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that so very much. Oh, I feel so, I feel so much better. Oh, oh, those things are really disgusting, aren't they? They really do like that hot sauce. They do. Um, So. uh, it, it has moved forward a little bit, but it seems very slow. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder if we might move around it. Uh, yes. Maybe we could just kind of lure it yes. away from yeah. the door. I, I will, uh, uh, I kind of put my hand on you, and uh, I'm going to cast a spiritual weapon, and I'm not trying to um, do severe damage with mm-hmm. it, but uh, I'm, I am going to uh, provoke the gelatinous cube with the spiritual weapon. I'm gonna have the mm. spiritual weapon attack. So mm. this uh, a spiritual weapon that manifests is, um, oh, let's make it a frying pan. <laughs> in honor of, 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 of this whole thing. So yeah. a, a frying pan appears and, uh, and, and it will strike at the gelatinous cube okay. and then I'll have it move Bonk. back. Okay. To that try to draw it like to, towards you. Draw it away from the door towards, yes. towards you. Cool, and cool, towards cool. the opposite It's the wall. frying pan's within. Yes, <laughs> oh my, I love it, I love it. And I will move away from this, kind of in position to, when we're all ready to go, um, to move towards the door, hopefully when it's the, the path is clear. What if we gave him something to keep it busy? Mm. Can we give him something? Like what? Like, uh, like oh, I don't have anything. Uh, a loot? 
would be a shame. Play a, play a song. Oh, lure it. <laughs> lure the gelatinous cube with the power of song. Perhaps. Um, I shall try this. Okay. And oh, Rainus yes. walks off to the other side of the room <laughs> and starts playing a song on, on the lute. A beautiful, traditional, Irish sounding song. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Make a performance check for me. Uh huh. I would have guidance, yeah, but I'm mesmerized. You're in combat. Yeah, already. Yeah. I got this. Come on. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> is, that, is that a natural oh 20? Can I roll like, yeah. oh, I right. got this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, too much. Too much. Too much. Nice. Um, wonderful. You sick. guys are, were not expecting to be so distracted in the middle of a very <gasps> dangerous situation, but yes. all of a sudden, the voice that comes out of Wayness is angelic. It's like it's like the song of angels coming down from on high. The lute playing is is it's it's like you feel the passion behind the song. And even though it's a very simple, like you said, that the most beautiful Irish ditty, it's a simple tune, but somehow fills your heart. You you all feel just you swell up with pride. Uh. Um, the cube does nothing different. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. It's a gelatinous cube. <laughs> <laughs> but so I yes. love it. So there's only a few feet between the cube and the door. I right would now? say at this point there's like ten feet. Oh, oh. there's enough. Like it's not when I say oh. a, like a few compared to the big space. Right. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and quietly and subtly move around behind it mm -hmm. between the cube and the door. Okay. I'm hesitant to plunge another mage hand into the cube to grab that gem until my companions are also out of the room. So I think for now, I'm just gonna try the door. Is it locked? It does not seem to be locked. Then I guess I will open it and just kind of peek through so I see what we're... Let's... I may need to um, add our next map for this oh. purpose because uh, a few things are about to happen. Oh, oh. no, uh, did um, I mess up? I think it might be time to see the next set. Yes. Oh gosh! Oh, I guess movies. I should have just got uh, the no. gem. <gasps> oh, 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 Excellent. Oh, whoa, so, whoa, whoa. Oh, cool. So as that door opens, I'm going to need you to make a dexterity. <gasps> oh no! No! Oh, my you can't see it, it but there's come. a giant axe above the door. There is. And it. And it's Yikes. Probably going a to swing down. A dexterity saving throw? A dexterity saving throw. Do you have guidance it's left over from him or no? You no. don't. No, because no, I didn't it's probably it not. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, 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 okay. I do you have this. inspiration though. Mm -hmm. Yes. You in do case I mess indeed. it up. That's a natural. Oh, that's a four. Okay. Oh. I thought it was a natural one. It's a four. I will okay. use my inspiration. All right. <laughs> okay. You deserve it. You can cash that coin in. There excellent, excellent. The good news Thank is you can you. always earn it back with your yes. delectable Ooh, puns. Let's All right, ah, here ah, we ah. go, here we go. Better this time, please. No whims. That's a 10, so okay. 13. Ah, no, it should be that good. No. Oh, I didn't know that. At least it's not embarrassingly bad. No, 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 it's definitely not embarrassing. But you want to open that door and I could show them how fancy your set is? We push the, the door, door opens open. and a no! Oh, oh, no! Okay. Oh, yeah. Slice me up. All right. The good news is, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're, you have a healer. That's the good news. The good yes, news is, oh god. Yes, if he remembers. Okay. The good news <laughs> is, uh, I just rolled uh, so badly. Okay. Yeah. You had the potential to take two d8 slashing damage. Mm. You have four. Oh, oh slashing love damage. it, love it, love it. Ooh, that could that, really that could have been bad. jolly bad for, for our wizards? sweet, or yeah. our sweet wizard. Damn um, But you Great. are okay. But look, hey, I mean, that could have been a whole lot. Oh, that could have been so much. Worse. That could have been jolly bad. I don't um, know why I never cast mage armor throughout all of this. Oh, no, there's other. There's, there's just the pressure's okay. on. There's so there's much happening. There's still time, you guys. There's still time. <laughs> Everything talks. <laughs> all right. Except Great. for this. So yeah. even though you you uh, as you open the door because you're just so excited to get through and get moving out, you see the axe as it's coming, and as oh. you dive out of the way, it just kind of cuts into the side of your robes My reading and, slashes arm. <laughs> <laughs> and slashes the side of your arm. It is not major damage, um, but it is definitely scary. Like you definitely, that could have gone a whole lot worse. Yeah. You're, you're, you're very grateful. Mm. Um, I wonder if that's how the skeleton lost his head. Quite oh, I will see that and 
casually walk around the swinging axe <laughs> that has now kind of come to a stop Smoothly. and um, just, pardon me, <coughs> and get into the room and then I'll just uh, try and make sure there's a path cleared for the rest of them. First of all, we do, you gather your bearings and you see a very large uh, uh, stone sca- staircase uh-huh. that curls upward. So you kind of gather that you have reached the bottom of the tower. Um, there is candlelight illuminating a door on the other side mm-hmm. of the room. There is some scattered treasure mm-hmm. around. There are um, there are some very bright colored plants over in the corner. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, there are three skeletons <gasps> that don't seem to be propped up, but they definitely are up up. Oh, and <gasps> they up, up, up. are dressed. Well, somewhat like you guys are. <gasps> oh no! No, it's um, the it's the hard one. Um, so that's a that's a thing to you know. Win us! Win us! Put a pin in that. Um, um, to put a pin in that. I'm here. Um, you also see. <laughs> oh, the timing of this all. Um, you see floating, right in the middle something else of floating. the room. Oh no! Something else. Oh no! Um, oh. Something quite unexpected. Um, you see a rather strange <laughs> looking beast. No! Oh, that is very um, akin to the beast on the front of the um, You see this just hanging out, floating in the middle of the room. It is not. Aggressive. You guys come through, and it does not seem to be necessarily moving. But you do see sharp teeth, one big eye, and uh, 10 smaller eyes on Ooh. wriggling stalks, but it is just kind of mm-hmm. floating yes. there, not necessarily doing anything. Oh, hello. We're, we're a big fan. Look, I hear this shield. <laughs> <laughs> the beholder, again, does not seem to be reacting to any of you guys, but then when Alex comes running through, oh. it flies <gasps> toward Alex, and you are terrified about what is going to happen to this poor, oh, no. unarmored, unweaponed individual. And the beholder starts to lick him on the face. <gasps> what? I'm s- what? The beholder just starts licking his face. Now he is like frozen in terror about what is happening. What is what is happening? Oh, what is happening? I know what this is. What is happening? What? Pouncy. Pouncy. As soon as you <laughs> say pouncy, the uh, beholder starts to wriggle. Oh, <laughs> like, just wriggle a gosh. little bit. And one of the stalks of the eyes almost kind of swings around to the back like it's like a, a wagging tail. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Pouncy! My Pouncy! What have they done to you, my Pouncy? Pouncy was a, just a place oh, of beast, funny. right? And got, like, now. transformed into a beholder? Is that something that can happen? Is that something that has happened in the literature. And <laughs> you do recognize that this is a kind of magic that can be undone through a variety of ways. Yeah, I'll, I'll just slip and shut the door then. So I can't. Smarty, smarty, smarty. Yeah, smarty. yeah. yeah. Someone uh, that yes, then I would shut love to cast Dispel Magic. I would love for you to do that on as well. Pouncy. I love this. So. And as you, it's almost like you, you know, like you know when you're doing like, I'm crushing your head. <laughs> you, you sort of do that and you're holding Pouncy the Beholder in your hand um, and as you begin to wipe from top to bottom, Pouncy's appearance changes. He's no longer a fearsome beast with 10 stalks for eyes. Instead, he is a different kind of somewhat <gasps> fearsome beast with tentacles <laughs> and six uh. legs. Because Pouncy shows his true appearance as indeed a displacer beast. I'll take that. Wayness! A displacer beast. Yes. Look and at him. as you are doing that, it has not stopped one bit from, from licking, licking he's still licking Alex's <laughs> face, and Alex is just through the roof thrilled. Oh, Pouncy, my Pouncy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry all of this happened. Oh, you all see, he's a dreadful fellow. You must not underestimate him. He has terrible magics that he can use. You must be careful moving forward. He's a dreadful person, and oh dear. Do you see those three in front oh, no. of you as well? Oh, we should have kept an eye oh, on those. Oh no, the skeleton. Yes, indeed. For um, as these, as Pouncy comes forward, and all of you are very happy for the reunion, 
the skeletons oh, are man. not quite as friendly. And I do need you to it. <laughs> and in the meantime, oh, I scary. am going to present these uh, delightful adventurer skeletons. Look at that cloak. I know, it. right? Beautiful. Fashion sense on these skeletons, you guys. Mm. Mm. Um, so yes, again, let's roll initiative, please. Oh, I have a 10. A 10, Gaspar. I have an eight. An eight, Althea. I have a 12. 12, Robin. 15. 15, um, and Alex. Wonderful. In our initiative order, this is going to start with one of the skeletons, uh, unfortunately. Oh, no, no, no. Apparently they're also from where Gaspar is because uh, I say his name the same. <laughs> um, so our first skeleton uh, uh, looks remarkably like, like this was clearly the muscle of the group. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, a helmet, a, a sword, it's, it's fitted for battle. Um, and it is going to go for the uh, closest person to him, which is? It's either me or, or depending on how far in <laughs> uh, Wayne's, uh, uh came. But all right, all right. I think it might be me. I think it might tanks. be you as well, my dear. Um, <laughs> I'm busy. Does a three hit? I'm busy petting the three <laughs> Does a three, a three? Oh, a three, three. hit? Uh, no, um, uh, not quite. Yes, no, I, I figured it didn't. Um, so uh, it's, 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 Attempting to come, you're just too, you're too spry, Grandpa. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yeah, indeed, yeah. indeed. Grandpa, Gramps got moves. Gramps got moves. Also, you're used to dealing with undead in I your sure particular am. field of battle. Wait. So you were prepared for that movement. Um, uh, that does uh, finish its turn. Uh, as it goes, um, Alex also says, oh dear, that's them. The ones, you know, oh, no. the ones that he hired to the do the thing that I told way. you about. Oh. It's definitely them. I recognize that cloak anywhere. It was fabulous. Oh. Um, uh, oh. Next will Take be Robin Richmond. Uh, yes, Robin will uh, dash to the side behind the staircase and okay. come up behind the one with the fancy cloak. No, wait a minute. When he dashes behind the staircase. Oh, no, but not like, yeah, sorry, behind this. Oh, behind so this In front of the okay. staircase. Okay, okay, excellent. Right. And I will use all of my quick hand movements to not damage the cape, but try and stab into the skeleton. Appealing, I love it. Try and like just lift the cape and then cut. Make it rain. Okay, uh, 21. Yes, that definitely hits. hits. Uh, with my newfound rapier. That is 11 points of damage. Okay. And wow. then I will bonus action slash it uh, with my short sword. That's a natural 15 for 22. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on a second. We're going to do this. For an additional five. For an additional five. Okay. okay. So 16 Excellent. total. Um, so you just deftly, swish, swish, like uh, it, 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 it's a sight to see, and immediately. <laughs> You don't even see where it actually hit the skeleton. Mm. It just crumbles Ooh. into a pile of bones. Oh, um, wonderful, to the wonderful. Ground. So cloak and bones cloak on the untouched. ground. Ooh. Wonderful, beautiful, Pristine. well, very well done. I'm very impressed. Um, yeah. Next in the initiative order, we have, uh, oh, that was Robin, then we have Althea. Okay, um, so I wanna, I haven't identified this staff yet, but I, I kind of just want to like point it at the skeleton in armor and see it, if it does the magic. I am mm. mad at it. field research. I mean, why not? I am mad at it. You very keenly and astutely earlier identified that, you know what? It's frosty and it's a staff. It's probably a staff of frost. So here's what mm. you've got from that. You know from your experience at the, uh, at the academy that a Staff of Frost offers several uh, benefits. One is that you have resistance to cold damage. Ooh. Always a good thing. Ooh. The Staff has 10 charges. You have a choice of what you want to um, uh, expel with it. Um, it can either be a cone of cold, Ooh. Um, which takes a certain number of charges, mm. a right. fog cloud, mm. okay. an ice storm, Ooh. or okay. a wall of ice. Oh, oh. man. So Whoa, it's pretty ice. powerful stuff. Okay, so I think, so a cone of cold uh, would hit pres presumably at least one of my allies. 
fewer than three of your allies? Yeah. Where are you standing that you can't get <laughs> I'm rid of I'm not saying I'm willing to sacrifice you. I'm right saying I have back. sculpt spells. So oh. I can protect you from Well, it. I mean, the good news is your, your, your main three allies are here, and Alex and Pouncey are off, like, having their special reunion. So I think you might be safe with it. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll take sculpt. a few, take a few yeah. steps forward. It's, it's just that since I didn't, since I am a little unsure of what the staff does, I want to be extra cautious of mm -hmm. it. So I would like to try and cast Cone of Cold. Excellent. And if any of my allies are in the way, then they automatically succeed their, succeed their saving throws and take no damage. Excellent. So it's just like a safety. I like it. All right. So let's see what we got. Um, they must all make a constitution saving The bad guys, out? yes. Con right. uh, constitution. Wait, I don't know. You told, you're the one that told me how to spell it. Cone, cone of okay. Cold. Okay. That must be Con. Or Dex. Or Dex. Or Dex. Sorry. Or Dex, right. Yeah. This is... This is I'm trying to look it up. You're very sad. They they were probably much better adventurers in life. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately rolled a one, oh, a no. seven, and an eight. Oh my god. Um, we like so, this. Oh, and one of them's already down. So that's really that's uh, the one. Let's, let's that's make, the one. Like, like let's Perfect. make that one. Sure. Yeah. Um, so as you blast this beautiful icy cone of cold blast out of your um, uh, staff. You also use your incredible magical mystery powers and sculpt, you almost see it like sculpt itself and weave around and through your allies. Um, but somehow nice. just manages to pop, 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 boom. Ooh, that's half the charges gone. Knock <laughs> over all of the other skeletons. Woo! They are out. Oh. Nice. There's just not enough hit points oh. in them to survive that. Um, wow. Unless I roll all ones always. Um, <laughs> and even if I did, they'd be uh, unconscious. So uh, wow. delightful. That encounter was much less uh, threatening than uh, than we ever thought it was going to be. Surprise. <laughs> so <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> I am not so sorry. You go, girl. You uh, take Robin them out. That's just, what the staff is for. Yeah, yes. Robin's just standing there like, yeah. I mean, Gaspar so, about, was about to turn undead, and, oh. then, and then you did it for him. I really so didn't sorry. need to happen. I didn't, I didn't need to steal your no, thunder. No, this was but most impressive. I'm, you, 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 must, you must be an amazing instructor. Professor. Uh, professor, yeah, yeah, yes. You should well, be so the, would you, you would also be an amazing professor. I, I really think that I should introduce you to the, to the, uh, you do. To the headmaster, mm -hmm. yes. I, I, would you mind terribly if, if Pouncey and I m maybe went back to the inn? Uh, uh, would you not, mind terribly? Not, not, not at all. As long, just be careful for the gelatinous cube, of course. Oh, we're not going that way. Do you not see the door behind us? What? It leads right to my bedroom. Oh. Wait, did you know this tower was back here? Well, it's always been here. There certainly oh, weren't was... creatures in it until that awful source of uh. And it was just empty. You just lived adjacent to an empty tower and just... Well, you know, it's, 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 it's kitschy. It is a kind of thing. People, it's a bit of a draw, people want to come see strange things in the world. Can't just can't just have a tavern. I mean, I do have the hot wings, but I still have to invite people, and people still have to come for a reason. You know, exactly. It's a yeah. Exactly. Adventurers always want something that seems like it might be mm. an adventure to happen. But listen, I really don't want an adventure, but I don't want you to end up like those fellows. So please do be careful. Yes. Do you think this is how Mary got? Through. We didn't uh, see did the door. Did you all say Mary? It's true, we didn't see. We yeah. did yeah. Mary. You did? No, you did. You said Mary. Yeah. Mary. Um, Romwell. Yes. Romwell. Oh, yes, you haven't yet, of course. M M Mary. Um, well, regardless, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. We've got to go. I'm traumatized by this experience. And he runs through the door and slams it and locks right. it on the other side. Oh, oh. locks us in? Wait. I wanted to cuddle with the dispatcher. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they are. Uh, you can retrieve our our lovely uh, Alex and um, Pouncy. At least they are safe. And as yes. he and Let's as he locks the door, later. you think that yeah. as he locks like... the door, you do hear on the other side. So sorry, I just want to keep them out. But if you need us, just holler. Okay, oh. bye. There's a staircase, so there the is only a way is up. But perhaps we should just have a quick scan. There's a cloak. On the ground. Yes, Looks of course. There uh, is a cloak I can on the identify ground. one, two, three, yes. four more things. There's yes. a very shiny ring. There's a nice helmet, an armor, a nice sword, a nice 
blade of some sort. Um, and your and your cloak. mall or, or uh, morning star. Oh right, star. I do have this. You do have behind, that. Behind the and there's potions in and this room. And behind the plants, so there seems to be some kind of lantern oh, and, another, and a, book? another book. Oh my goodness. Should we just Maybe Let's just take a moment. Take a moment. Oh, we can examine things. We can see what I can discern from yes, my education, just, and of then course. Yes. from there we can use spells yes. when necessary. Yes. Because I suspect that probably our next opponent will be the sorcerer. Mm, I think so. I know. Never. I think Apparently. we should be careful with how much we expend whatever resources we have. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am no longer able to cast fireball, and won't be able to after till after a good night's rest. Oh. Well, we will we will find a situation where we will see the wondrousness of that, but yes, next uh, time. Maybe this is a cloak of fireball casting. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I would like to uh, just look at them. Based on my education, can I mm. discern any of their purposes? You had you got a book. I did. Just I have a, a book ago. with uh, loose see what's parchment inside. in it. Yes, because there, there might be some parchment inside. In there, I would like imagine. to look at the loose parchments. Start. Exactly. I would love for you to look Ooh. at the loose parchment. Here is your beautiful book. It, it has skulls on it <gasps> and a skull oh, inside. Wonderful. So cute. What? Oh, look. It there has a little mini big skull. Your skull. I'm sure so it's when not you look at your, at when you do look Indeed. at it and you check it out, you, um, as you read it, you recognize uh. that this is a. Uh, Spell of speak with <gasps> This Whoa, is perfect. We can wait, talk to the hard way. Them, we could ask them what their items do. We so could you don't ask them about their own items. So, could I just, I guess I only get to talk to one of them. So because yeah. Of, what does that item, what do their items do? What do their items do? Should what we, do your items what do? What item do times three. Yes. And then <laughs> what, item, what, what, what item do? What item do? What what what? Should we ask them what happened? You could ask yes. them. Right, we could ask them what happened and we could also ask them if they have any information that would help us defeat what the is, saucer. Yeah. What about where what is he weak? Where is the dragon egg? Oh right. What? Where is the dragon egg? Or great question. Uh, what? How did he kill them? Or you know something mm. that could help us in our yes. battle. So when you look at them, they sort of loosely again. One of them looks very much mm-hmm. fighterly. One of them looks uh, the, has the cloak. So wizardish. And um, one of them has a dagger and a ring. Which of these are we speaking with? I think I should speak to. The wizardish mm. one, mm-hmm. yes. because that seems like one that might have a good understanding of the magic items. Oh, smart, very, smart. very, very smart. Very good idea. Smart. And so I cast it. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. So you read the spell out loud. Um, as you do, the spell, the, the scroll itself begins to disintegrate upon you, as they often right. do. Right. So that's kind of what they do. And. Um, enough. And uh, suddenly the wizard skeleton raises up. Hello. Uh, I have a few questions. Could you please describe for us what your magic item do? That's parenthetical. <laughs> um, yes, yes. It, it, it just kind of like, it's still weaving a little bit um, and pulls up the the cloak and says, robe of scintillating colors. Uh, Could you please describe for me what magic items uh, this companion of yours (laughs) has? Um, As you wave down to the fighter, it still holding its cloak in one hand, it points over, magic breastplate. Sword of sharpness. Ooh. And can you also please describe the magic items that your other companion <laughs> holds? Dagger of venom. Ooh. Ring of invisibility. Ooh. And it's still kind of like weaving a little bit. Well, with that out of the way, how exactly did your party die? Evan. Soul fallen, hired us to buy, to find and retrieve dragon's egg. Yes, and I I, I know that you succeeded and we're all very proud. Mm. Uh, Reneged on his agreement, (gasps) killed us with oozes. We remained here until reanimated. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, is there anything that you could tell us that would help us defeat this sorcerer and avenge your deaths and your betrayal? A dragon is proud and protects its young. A dragon's egg Did he say is dragon? the most yep. valuable no, thing no, 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 no. to a dragon. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much for your help. Before you even finish saying thank you, all of the bones just kind of collapse into nothingness. I hope he rests in peace. Well, after this. that saves you some identify. Right? Yes, definitely. I think all we need to identify then is the, the Morning Star, right? Oh, right. Yes. I, I, and I, I, if there's anything else. Oh, and another, yeah, there, there's another there's book, book and a lantern of some um, sort. Do you want to roll Arcana for it for us? Can you do your thing? Oh, sorry. I, I, I was so transfixed with what was happening. I, 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 of course, and I will kind of hip, hip, slightly still hypnotized by what I just witnessed. <laughs> I'm casting guidance on, uh, on Althea. Excellent. Nice. Thank you very much. Is that not normal to you? We do that a lot in academia. You know, you get you get donated corpses and then you speak to them to No, practice. that sounds like, like <laughs> torment for them. That's too much. <laughs> They're no, okay. usually quite friendly. All right, uh, it's going to be, oh God, a four plus seven, uh, an 11. Um, yes, you can definitely tell that this is a magic item. It does not seem to be a magic item um, necessarily with uh, like charges, mm. you know? Um, it seems to be very similar to something that you heard of uh, a, a friend of yours uh, at school who then moved into the clergy d- called a devotee's censor. Oh. Devotee sensor. Sounds like a cleric weapon. Sensor. Nice. Okay. Devotee sensor. Yeah. Um, and then I guess it's just the book, The book right? and the lantern. Is, um, and a lantern, does the lantern seem magic-y? Um, it's hard to tell from where you are. Do you want to make Pink, sure pinky. nothing is trapped and dangerous and deadly? I can try. I, uh, plants, there's magical plants. Plants, and yeah, I, I guess the, that's The mushrooms were specialty. weird, so. Uh, I will try, because okay. I'm trying to be brave. I'll check. You should if stop saying that you're trying to be brave. You are being brave. I suppose by, yes. You've been incredibly brave this entire time. Yeah. I will be brave. Yeah. You are uh, already. I will check. I, 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 Only a, a dexterity check, because it sounds like you want to avoid, like you're, you're being very careful. And, and I, as I, <laughs> I mean, I insist, as I still see that there's a hesitation yeah. in you, I stop you, and I, there's, you know, elderly dwarf is standing right in front of you, looking right up at you, <laughs> practically up your nose, and he puts yeah. his hand right on your chest, and he says, you know, you have not tried, you have been. You are brave. You have been brave this entire time. Go and continue to be that which you already are. Um, and Robin goes from quick breath to... Excellent. And... Are you serious right a now? A natural 20. Whoa! Yeah, babe! I mean, let's keep this in Let's fourth. go, let's go! Fourth, wow. fourth oh natural 20. <laughs> let's go, I need to use these Lego. dice more often. Yeah. Uh, to avoid the plants, and then I will see if the lantern is trapped in any way. All right. Or just pick it up. Wonderful. Investigation. Oh, it's good. Four. All right, that's oh, fine. You, you don't necessarily, well. like, it doesn't seem like a particularly. Highs and roll. It's, Highs a, and rolls it's, here. A, it's a lantern. You don't, this is not really your lane. No. Um, but you can certainly, you know, scoop it up. There, back up. there, there's also um, seem to be a book mm-hmm. right back there that, um, mm-hmm. that is resting there with a little parchment mm. uh, sticking out of it, um, which I believe uh, may look like this little guy right yes. here. Another and a little. I have the lantern. A, you up. have the lantern. Okay. Wonderful. Um, cool. I don't know what this is, to be honest, but it looks like something you could use or potentially you. I Maybe. can continue to roll stuff, and then we'll distribute all this yes. stuff, and then we yeah, can yeah. go forth go fully forth armed. Right. Yes. So yes. Um, let's go ahead and have you guys grab those things and upgrade your gear as, as yes. before we head up the stairs. Would you okay. like to roll an arcana for your lantern? I would love to do that. That's gonna be an 18. Excellent, it is a lantern of revealing. Ooh, wow. we got so much loot. That will make someone invisible visible, mm-hmm. perhaps? Except we don't want, we wanna make sure not to hold that yeah. too close to yes. Robin. Yes, yes. <laughs> How many shields have we acquired? 
Well, we, gave, we, gave we gave one, one to, one to Alex. Alex. Uh-huh. You still have You yours. still have your other one. Mm-hmm. <gasps> there are also two potions in this room. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, as you, you notice that, that they're see. up the stairs. You need, yes. to, you need to work your way up the stairs. To, to get grab, to the we can grab them on the way. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, as you guys are uh, gradually having this conversation with your with each other, you do hear footsteps above you. Oh, steps! Footsteps. <gasps> footsteps. No, you hear footsteps. footsteps above you. It doesn't sound like they're not particularly. They they're just just you hear footsteps. Oh God, I'm gonna cast mage armor because I keep forgetting. Uh. Okay. Oh, she's got two faces. I'm gonna put her serious face on. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yes, upgrade those bad boys and no, girls. She looks mad. Wonderful. All right. Are we heading up the stairs? Yes. yes. Uh, what does your uh, sensor do? I'm wondering oh, if it yeah. could be useful in, what does that in do? my battle. What does that do? Sensor. Um, the flail counts as a holy symbol for me, which is why oh. I can drop cool. this yes. for now. And, and and if you allow me to use your shield, I would Absolutely. be most... Absolutely. Yes, and I can read it for you. Mm. Yes. Um, uh, the devotee's censer, the rounded head of this flail is perforated with tiny holes arranged in symbols and patterns. It counts as a holy symbol for you. When you hit with an attack using the magic flail, the target takes an extra 1d8 radiant damage. Mm. As a bonus action, you can speak the command word to cause the flail to emanate a thin cloud of incense out to 10 feet for one minute. At the start of each of your turns, you and any other creatures in the incense regain 1d4 hit points. What? The property <laughs> can't be used until the next dawn. Yeah. You should oh. put that on your. Oh yes, yes, yes. I, you don't, I, I, you don't need a hammer. It, and I will actually put it on my on my mini as well. <sighs> you still hear these very faint footsteps upstairs. <gasps> we're too yeah, well, busy. Really loot, to we're too busy there. with our new presence. We'll one be one right with you. Oh. We're just going to get better equipped so that we can deal with you more easily. The footsteps stop as soon as he hears voices. Oh. As, well. as soon as it, just whatever it is. Hears voices. Can I ask one more? And then they start moving very fast. What do we need to move? And then they they just kind of fade. No. Darn it. Well, I meant that above we... table. <laughs> <laughs> are we going up the stairs? We're going up the yes. Perhaps it's Mary. Perhaps he's uh, getting or, away. Uh, what was the other name you read about? Uh, yes, it was uh, Evan Soulfallen. What a what, that sounds what? like a very nice name. I'm sure. Whatever there's nothing we have time, we must. They're getting away. Yes, and we, we should need to... go. We should go up there. Do, 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 do. I'm, I'm running. Okay. We should run up the stairs. We're running up the stairs. Can we grab um, the the two potions that you are? You can absolutely grab the two potions. That's a potions, very potions. good idea. Um, these uh, the the one of them looks very very similar to a previous potion that you had. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're going to guess that it is a potion of some kind of healing. Okay. okay. And the other one is uh, what color is it? It's uh, so blue. So there's the big, there's the big red one, uh-huh. and then there's a small blue one. Small blue one. Go ahead and grab that blue one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, roll a super fast arcana check for me. Sure. As you're running. Sure. Whoa. We'll take the big one. That's a twenty-one. Actually, it's a potion of heroism. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like I should give this yes. to you. Yes, it's good. Just a feeling I have in my heart. Thank and you. while you are you. running up the stairs, passing off well. items yes, as you yes. go, multitasking, <laughs> um, oh, I think it's does. time to show you the next set. Yes! Ah! <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! It's the rest of the tower. <gasps> the egg! Look at that. So, this first level, as you climb up the stairs, <gasps> this first level, you seem, uh, it, it's, it, the, obviously the, the walls are starting to fall away. Like this is, the, this is the crumbling part of the tower. It does not seem like anybody has tried to rebuild this. This level oh. of the tower has a, a seeming shrine uh, backed against one wall, and carved above the shrine are five stone dragon heads. <gasps> Resting no, on the shrine's five. altar, is a lustrous green orb. We'll, we'll oh, turn it for you to see. Yes, turn, turn. Yes, I must see, yes, I must yes, see. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I see that. Oh, it's so pretty on the outside, too. Oh, this one. Symbol. Oh, yeah. Symbol. I see um, those dragon heads. And one more thing orb. you notice is that a large key is just laying on a small stand yeah. on the floor. Um, do we hear any footsteps moving up? Uh, it feels like they've gone, they've, they've the they're, they're footsteps are, you're not hearing them. Oh no. Orb, shrine. Well, uh, well yes, there's, there's things here to do, but 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 the lantern, if, if. Oh, right, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up. Okay, so you're and using the it. lantern of revealing yes. um, to reveal if there is uh, anything that is invisible around you. Mm-hmm. Is this a thing where you can only do it like a few times or once. Mm. Let's see, lantern of 
Oh, it uh, burns for six hours. Oh, six. wonderful. As you do it, around you, you see nothing out of order other than, you see only the things that you already saw. No. Remember the sign on the board downstairs that was something about the cult of the dragon? Does right. anyone know anything about that? It's no, but moves. there's five dragon... question. Roll a history check. But there are five dragon heads on this shrine. Right. Oh, five yes. Five dragon heads? Of what could that, what could that possibly be? <laughs> but they're all the same color, so... Uh, ooh, that's gonna be a 23. Oh, nice. snap. You were a very good history student. Nice. So, uh, from your history books, you, you recognize that there are many... There are a few things about this room. One, you recognize that um, the, the five-headed dragon uh, is a dragon from your studies named Tiamat. <laughs> and one of the things in this area in particular that you recall is that the cult of the dragon, a nefarious organization, were worshippers of this particular mm. dragon mm. deity. Mm. In addition, you do remember an orb of dragon kind being used for Again, nefarious reasons to call evil dragons toward it by the user. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Um, I mean, I could try and dispel it, but somehow I think that that type of magic would be much stronger than yes. I would be able to get rid of. This just seems like it's clearly in the wrong hands, and that's a problem. Yes. It is not, and at the moment, it is just sitting on this particular sure, little it's, dais. It's it seems not, inert. It's mm. not, yeah, it doesn't not seem, active. it's 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 bright, but it's not necessarily, you don't see any magic that you can tell coming off of it. Uh, I will go over and, and inspect the key. Inspect and just be key? like, mm, is there anything around it? Uh, it is sitting just on sitting? a, it is just sitting on a little, platform there in the room. Okay. Doesn't nothing, look nothing quite nothing remarkable. Nothing, no mechanical things around it or anything, just... Uh, roll me a investigation, investigation. check. Oh. It's a five. Oh. It's a five. Yep. It, seems, uh. it seems, again, just seems pretty normal. I'll pick up the key. Yeah. All right then. Uh, wh uh, where are you guys, by the way? Can we... So can I'll, we be, yes. I'll be here yeah. next to the key. I'll you were be... looking at the shrine, right? Yes, I, think I, was I was looking at the orb with you. Looking at the shrine. You can stand I'll be in the one million books. Can okay, I try and take yes. the key? Yes, as you take the key. <gasps> no! Oh, poor Gaspar. I knew it would be me. Right oh. next to you takes a tumble. <laughs> Um, oh takes a tumble oh, so there was a right trapdoor. down to... <laughs> there really was? Yes, Marge. There really was. There <laughs> actually <laughs> was in the actual set. Oh, oh man. Oh, I did. It just Look opened at me. right up. Oh, I, th I thought you accidentally dropped me, but no. No, the, the, the set through. itself. Gaspar, my dear, you no. oh, five oh. Uh, points of bludgeoning. Oh, oh, no. um, now, thankfully, Gaspar is sturdy. Gaspar is pretty sturdy. He's a sturdy right. fellow. Um, oof! You <laughs> oh, dogs the wind out of me. And uh, as that happens, you hear uh, from above almost like clanking noises. <gasps> oh no! Um, and and rustling from above. I just look over and go. I'm, I'm okay. So sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm, we'll try to get up and get okay. up there. I want to bend over the hole in the floor and cast jump on Gaspar oh. so he can just come right back. Oh. That's amazing. Ooh, awesome. Because we're in a bit of a rush. We are. I will Is that back up. Yeah, it's a spell. Let's see it. Well that done. I mean, I said, I said it before. Grandpa's spell. There. there you go. There right? Excellent. <laughs> so, um, with this uh, uh, historical memory that you have, uh, you now know what this item probably is, mm. what this represents. You have a key. You yes. have raced up the stairs. Uh -huh. Waynus is there at the ready. What are we going to do? We must go uh, up. We gotta how, go up. How big is the lantern uh, range? Oh, 30 feet. 30 feet. Um, I will dash ahead and I'll Okay. And ah, just go invisible, yeah, clever, clever, yeah. clever. just okay, in case. Yeah, yeah. So um, you uh, run up the stairs, yes. and Ooh. you see a workshop, and you see, indeed do see your old friend Mary Rumwell mm. Mary um, messing with bottles <laughs> and flasks, and uh, it, it looks like some sort of a workshop. Yep. Okay. Perhaps uh, he is grabbing items and pouring other items into other items. He does not seem yep. to have seen you. Okay, I come back down and I'm like, Mary's in some kind of workshop, like a wizard's workshop. Did I you stab him with your dagger? No, because I don't know what's in that room. Could be trapped. Right, but that's fair. It's better to go as a group. No, maybe 
maybe turn off the lantern. If you go Just ahead. Think. Yes. Well, we can't, we will. I we don't think I can get through the door without him yes. seeing the clanking door. Clanking and see. some You're footsteps right. and some more oh. clanking that's, happening. That's the, that's the plan, because that's the one that we've thought of and we must sure. okay. go in. You go up. Invisible. Um, now that, yes, yeah, so now that you are closer up, you, you are invisible. In the space, you see uh, sort of like the standard makings of uh, an arcane workshop. Mm-hmm. There's a red candle, there's a cauldron, there's mm-hmm. random spell components and scrolls, a lip brazier that is looks like a humanoid skull. Not entirely sure what that is. And sure enough, oh, Mary is up there working and he sees, Oh, you again! Not you! Go bother someone else. Oh. And as his voice changes, so does his appearance. For oh. in a swirl oh. of black smoke, oh. the appearance of Mary Rumwell changes oh. to a figure clad in red. I don't think we're going to be able to talk our way out of this one. You were right. Evil makes Mary he well good sleeps. Some... Oh, yes. makes Mary. It all makes um, sense now. He melts away cool. and wow. you see this figure with a black cloak on top, a, a, a staff with a, sore, a scroll, Whoa. and poof, disappears oh. once again. Oh, good it's thing. It's that I same sound you remember from before when you ran down the stairs to go mm. find him in the inn. But I still have the lantern. Uh, but you do, but you do not but, see anything. Oh. Okay, absolutely oh. gone. So not invisible. Where, where did this person go? Is there anywhere else to go? Now, uh, you do look around you, and there is another level, it seems, above you. Everything's pretty uh, decrepit yeah. and stony, but if you if you look up, there does seem to be further to go. Mm. I'm, I, does Keep jump going. still work? Yeah. Uh, do I you still get have it for an activity? One minute, so. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna just. Uh, I'm gonna go to the edge. I'm gonna jump straight up, get a look, and then come right back. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. So you're yeah. like, <laughs> amazing. Take a look. Okay. In a super quick look, mm-hmm. there is so little of the tower left. Mm-hmm. You bounce up. You see a dragon egg <gasps> surrounded by candles. <gasps> And you have to There's a dragon egg surrounded by candles! Oh no, it's some kind of ritual. Maybe it's to activate the orb. Oh, I, I'm gonna leap up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove the dragon egg to stop <gasps> the ritual, hopefully. So I'm gonna leap up again. Okay. All right, so you leap up again and, and you're gonna land, you're on gonna the, land uh, yes. there. All right, so let's put our, let's put our boy Gaspar oh in his position. Um, so, uh-huh. you see this dragon egg in front of you. It does seem like the candles are, are around it. It does not seem like they are placed in any sort of like organized fashion. Mm-hmm. They just seem, need, seem to be around it, somehow okay. facing toward it. Um, and you said you, you run to grab it? To, or Yes, okay. I, as a bonus action, I would like to activate the devotee's uh, this mace. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's going to be active. It just lights up, and the swirling div- uh, divine energy is, uh, it's like a smoky energy starts to just emanate from it. Uh, and I'm going to grab the egg. Excellent. So, um, I love this for you. Um, <laughs> um, so he runs forward with the wisps of beautiful, mm. like this almost radiant smoke mm-hmm. coming off of the devotee's sensor. You reach forward, knocking over a few candles. You grab the egg and hold it close to your chest, and you hear from above <gasps> you. Standing above, there's a little da- there's a little ladder above, and standing above on barely like a little shelf is Evan Soulfallen. <gasps> he screams down to you as his clothes flap in the wind. That's my egg. That is not your egg. <laughs> this belongs to someone else. This is someone's child that you've taken, and I know it is not yours. Are the rest of you? I'm, I'm, I'm up yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> He sees that, he says, that's my egg, and he sees you all running up a well as, as well, and he says, thieves, all of you have come to take what is rightfully mine. I paid the adventurers for it. I did all the hard work. This egg is not yours. It belongs to... And almost in slow motion, you hear a sound from behind him. <laughs> Wait. You hear the flapping of wings. You oh, no. feel the oh, no. air around you it's just seem to get the tiniest <laughs> bit warmer. It's just like... You put the ring on. <laughs> put the ring on, but your thing is still up, right? Yeah, no, I, I'm okay, just okay, like okay, in, okay. in You hear fear. the flapping of wings, and above you, a terrible roar fills the sky as a fully grown red <gasps> dragon 
swoops toward the tower. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Very cool. We might die. Oh, wow. oh man! A giant adult red dragon oh. perches on the remains of this stone tower. You hear the thud of the dragon's feet. You feel the entire tower shudder, and you are almost knocked over by the power of the wind blowing around you with its wings. Who dares to steal my egg? And she peers around and immediately looks Ah, uh, do I have a moment to respond? Uh, uh, she is asking you a question. It is not. I, uh, we have not. We've not. We're not the ones that, st that that are here to steal your egg. We're here to free your egg. And I'm gonna point up to 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 you know the real bad guy, uh, uh, to, to 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 Romwell. Uh, uh, that is that is the person who has stolen your egg for nefarious reasons. I, I, we've come here to set all that right. This is yours. This belongs to you. And I'm going to use a bonus action to activate my uh, uh, my weapon, this um, uh, devotee sensor. Mm -hmm. I can speak the command word to cause a flare to emanate. That it's already uh, emanating this incense. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, at the start of each of my turns, so if I have the capability mm -hmm. to do this, I'm going to cause the egg, if it's been damaged at all, Ooh. I'm gonna guide that incense towards the egg to heal it nice. for 1d4. Nice. So as a demonstration of, 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 of good faith, essentially. We're on your side! Okay, so let me set the scene. Because uh, we do know that some adventurers stole the dragons and we sure look like yes. we do know you look like and now we're wearing some their clothes. And oh, you know we're wearing their clothes. And you're wearing their clothes. Oh no. no. Oops. However, but I am not wearing any of their clothes. Fair, you are not. I know, but I'm still an adventurer. But you are holding the dragon <laughs> egg. Fair point. Hands. It wasn't so, me. So, I will give you this. It is a very high DC. Uh -huh. Oh god. But I'm gonna ask you to make a persuasion <sighs> roll with advantage because your act of mm. uh, uh, putting the protective energy around this, where you roll this big. dragon's egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, can, uh, uh, would you allow me to, as in mid sentence, cast guidance on myself? No, that doesn't, no. I would, because look, your faith, uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 your faith in yourself, your your conviction yes. is so solid. You've been running around giving out guidance mm -hmm. like like mints. So please, yes, let's give yourself well, I will take give that. Yourself Thank the you, generous that and you kind can. dungeon master. Yes, yes, of course. Don't forget you also. Have an oh, inspiration. I have it. I'm okay. ready. All right. Don't you? Yeah. Uh, All right. We'll see if I need it. I believe in you. Oh, is this a persuasion roll? It is a persuasion roll. It is, that is a 16 total. I would like to use my inspiration. Do it, do it again. Right. I, I support you in that decision. Get to just re-roll the one. Uh, 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 come on. What is it? Oh, oh no. no. That's worse. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Let's let us see what the story wants to be instead of what <laughs> we want the story indeed. to be. I mean, indeed, you are so full of convictions. Even tears start coming out of your eyes because you think of your your beautiful grandchildren. You mm -hmm. think of your family and how oh. awful it is to be able to to, to imagine that someone would take, would take them from their you. egg and that it could possibly be you. You're you are crestfallen. Um, <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. A Sixteen does not cut that DC. Um, Understood. She hesitates for a moment. You are lying. I need you to roll. Oh, I'm gonna try oh, yeah. Come on. Against the dragon! Let's oh go. god! Oh, don't I have a thing that you have advantage? You get to roll twice. I get to roll twice and take the higher of the two. Okay. Okay. Um, 
I'll take that 12 then. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 13. I'm actually, I'm also 13. Yeah. <laughs> okay. wow. uh, between try. the two of you, which have, who has the higher decks? Are you 13 as well? Yes. I have a zero for dex mod. I have a plus three. Okay. Oh, look at you, a speedy wizard. I don't know. <laughs> no wonder you were rolling all those high initiatives. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Robin Richmond? 20. Oh. 30, 30, 30, 20. 30, 20. Excellent, all right. I'm gonna right. try something really dumb. Excellent. Okay. Love that. All right, well, um, uh, uh, we start with our evil sorcerer. Mm. Oh no, oh. this might ruin my plan. However, the evil sorcerer is clearly, he is, be he is, this is not a person in their right mind. Um, yeah. Because obviously this egg does not belong to him, but somehow you see madness in his mm. eyes. And he is holding a scroll. <gasps> he reads the scroll aloud. Alas to space door, safe for Hachito! And uh, he casts Hold Monster. <gasps> right. So he casts it with all the power, all the conviction. You see a green blast come out from his arm as he casts the spell. The scroll dissolves into nothingness. It heads directly for the heart of the dragon and simply dissipates. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. Man. This could work. Puny human, with your puny magic. Let me show you how it's oh, no. done. Oh, oh no. And uh, she turns <sighs> on Ervon. No. Oh. <gasps> she don't go for it. She gonna use her breath wipe oh. um, on. Now, Up the good him. news is, yes, exactly. Like the trajectory there is definitely straight, uh, straight away from you guys. So you oh. should be okay. Uh, recharge our signature coin. Must make a <laughs> yeah, it's a tough to stare you through, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Okay, um, uh, it was almost a natural. Oh wow! Oh. Same, so close. Um, so indeed, she unleashes a giant cone of fire toward him as uh, he has to take a very large. Oh no, that's 18 d6, goodness. Oh, that is 18? Oh, oh, d6. Give me all the d6s, uh, and then six. I will do math. Five. Excellent. Here's, here's, an here's extra one two. more. Huh? All right, we'll just keep counting until yep. they're done. You okay. stay out of this. Yes. All right, ready? I'm just gonna do these and see what happens. Okay. okay. All right, 30, 6, 7, 8. Um, that is... Uh, 61 uh, oh. damage. Wow. Um, wow. To uh, Ervon, so, so he is consumed in fire. His clothes are just completely almost burned away. Um, he screams in horror, but he is still standing. Oh, God. Whoa, what? Yes, indeed. Now, uh, you are still holding the egg? Um, I am. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's fine. I mean, I don't want to, but it's not my turn yet. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Um, Meanwhile, Venus, Venus sees this burst of fire in front of her eyes and they're full of tears and oh, yeah. she's in <laughs> awe and majesty is like looking at this I've creature. Wanted. I've always wanted to see a red dragon. I didn't think it would be this close. Well, it oh, might be the last thing you yes. see. <laughs> you, you, might, you might find out what it eats when it's angry. Oh no! I mean, it's entirely possible. That could happen. Um, next in line, we did that, we did that, we did that. Next in line is a Lucas. No, hmm? sorry, Robin. Oh. Is the dragon looking at Casper? The with dragon the, just the unleashed its its uh, its breath weapon, so it's still and focused on How is Arvan looking? Everyone's looking rough. Okay. Crispy? Uh, Crispy. Yeah, he's looking pretty crispy. He does not look like delicious to, toppings. Yes, you will say. allow this. Right. I'm going to try something rather silly, but oh. I have a fish. You do. You do have so, a fish. Uh, We're as fishing a, friends. As a thief, climbing doesn't cost me extra movement. Correct. Mm. Right. So yes. I'm going to dart up, okay. and I'm going to use a bonus action to use my fast hands to take the egg out of your hand. Oh and place it gently on the ground so he's not holding it. Okay. And I'm going to climb up to the top and as an action, uh -huh. as an attack, take out one of the leftover chilies and smash it into his face. Amazing. And just say, Alex is the true sorcerer, not you. 
Oh, yeah. oh! I feel like you should have an extra roll for like roll for solid burn. Nice. <laughs> that was a solid so this burn. Is just burn. Yeah. Solid burn un, this is just a chili unarmed strike. No, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Clean up strike. <laughs> There's your chili. Okay, that's not great. Oh, no. You got it. I got an inspiration now, so yeah, I'm gonna yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to You're gonna cash, cash in, in my your fish. Your fish inspiration. Oh. Fish. I did Wonderful. catch on this as well. Wonderful. Oh, awesome. Here, let's so find out how well it hits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just All right. kidding. It's okay. Fish cannon. It's a fish cannon. Uh, uh, with an unarmed strike, that's not good. That's a 13. Oh! What a 13 hit! <gasps> because you're a yeah. wizard! Indeed! Yeah. Now, wizard. I think you should, because it's not an unarmed strike, you are armed with chilies. True. So I'm going to give you an extra 1d4 to your damage. Mm. Okay, so it's going to be a d4 plus 1. Okay. That is a 4. Ooh! Okay. Yeah. Plus one. Every little bit counts. It would have been counts. better just to use my new dagger, but the chilies seemed more thematic. I loved it. Uh, that, that, was, <laughs> that was excellent. All right, uh, that finishes your turn. Next is Wayness. Uh, 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 what do I do? Why do I do it? It's a dragon. I don't, <laughs> want, to do. I don't want to hurt him, but I don't think we have a choice. We always have a choice, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I should just attack it. <gasps> or not. It's no, not, no, no, don't just play it. Follow your heart. Me. Follow it your heart. It hasn't it's engaged us yet. I will, I will use my sling oh. Oh. to do a ranged attack on uh, Mr. Uh, Chili Eyes. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. To see if we can take him out first. All right, give me a ranged attack. Let's roll for that. That's a 9 plus 4. That's a 13. 13 hits. hits. Yeah. 13 hits. Nice. So. That is a three plus one. Four. Excellent, all right. He is looking exceedingly rough, like between the chilies where he's just like, ah, 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 and it's like just, and now he's uh, had a solid. Piece of rock. Piece of rock thrown at him, <laughs> basically. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also starting to teeter a little bit. Excellent. Over there. So are you, you're still up on the same level. With yeah, you, I, right? I can't get back out from that. Okay, no worries. So I'm just no worries. there. You used up all your, oh, that's yeah. fine, that's fine. I'm just there. Um, oh, so you're man. watching him teeter and kind of flail yeah. around and just doing your best to avoid getting yep. knocked over by a blinded uh, a sorcerer. But that does finish your turn. Uh, Althea, my dear. Mm -hmm. I am gonna cast Chill Touch on the sorcerer. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> is that allowed? That is absolutely allowed. All right, go, it's go, a range, go, 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 babe. It's a ranged spell attack. Mm -hmm. So that's an 18 to hit. That hits. Um, and it is uh, 1d8 necrotic damage. D8. All you're right. 2d8. Oh, five. you're right. Because you are level five. Thank you so much. Well done. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I thought it was another seven. It's a two. Womp womp. Okay, oh. so uh, nine necrotic damage. Amazing. And the hand clings to him and he can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. Oh, he's going to try. He is down on his knees now. Oh. Uh, he's no longer running around. He is down. <laughs> the egg. I must have the egg. And upon hearing that, oh. Cinder Howl once again turns her attention toward him. And mm -hmm. she has clocked with her incredibly keen senses that the egg is no longer in anyone's hands. Mm -hmm. That it is only nice down on the ground. That it is only down on the ground there, so strong work there. Um, she is going to make a swipe with her claw <laughs> to knock him off. Yep. Oh god, I hope the you're top. Yep. not collateral damage. Yep, we'll see. Oh. Do I have to do a I would like for you to make a dexterity saving throw. I am pretty good at those. 17. Ooh. Okay. 17. She swipes out one of her long claws above her, just long enough to catch him with her claws. Reaches around him and swats him around you as you expertly lean wow. back <laughs> with your legs firmly planted on the floor and evading her claws as she takes heaven so fallen. Ah, oh. <laughs> down ah. so fallen in demise. Ooh. She turns her attention back to all of you. You. You had your hands on my head. 
but only to, to, to protect But you it. put it down. Perhaps you aren't together with him, I don't really know. No, I don't know all. what nefarious schemes all of you have to. Just wanted some chicken wings. Yep. No. That literally stops her in her <laughs> proverbial tracks. I, uh, she reaches, staring at you the whole time as you said that, she reaches down and grabs onto her egg, holds it close to her chest. I don't believe that you are as good-hearted as you try to make it seem. Oh. I'm not finished with you, oh. but I am finished here. Oh. And she, with a smack and a slap of her wings on the tower, takes off her egg close to her heart and flies off to be contended with <laughs> another day. No, man. If Robin that doesn't is... get us adventure of the month, yeah. I don't know what will. You just hear Robin up top just like, I immediately forgot I have a terrible fear of heights. Oh, and no. tries to eventually just climb down. Tries uh, to climb his way yes, down. He climbs sweet, down. Sweet, sweet uh, boy. In the hours that follow, as that you regroup, as you heal, as you yes. process that you saved a child and yet somehow it wasn't enough. enough. As you process the extraordinary experience you had as you work your way down the tower, back through the meadow, the owlbear is still asleep. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Slept through everything. Sleep through that? <laughs> that is like, that is some serious sleep. You only have one spider, my God. Mm. What kind of food coma is that? Um, I've been there. You make your way across the meadow and back to in plain sight. The terror that you were feeling is somehow mitigated by once again that smell of the delicious hot wings, but there's something slightly different about it now. Because Alex has actually been cooking hot wings. Ooh. These are no magic fakey fake, oh. should have been Alex hot wings. These are the real, old real time original in plain sight hot wings. You move inside, so and Alex comes <laughs> forward with two giant platters, all ready prepared for all of you. I, I don't know how you did it, but I thank you that you did. You have unlimited hot wings for life. <gasps> if you come and stay here at the In Plain Sight, and Pouncy is also forever your friend. He places these hot wings in front of you. And as you all grab on to one of them, cheers together. Mm -hmm. That brings us to the end of our Lego D&D &D game night, Red Dragon's Tale. Nice. My sweet, sweet players, would you please <laughs> reintroduce yourselves to the folks at home? I'm Lucas Bolt, and I played as Waynes Bree Twist. And also, before we move on, <laughs> as uh, the creator of this incredible set, yes. um, you are the teacher's pet. <laughs> you should have an apple of inspiration, which you did not need during the adventure. So I couldn't <laughs> give it to you, so there you go. Thank you so much. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome. My dear. Uh, I am Luis Carrazo, and I played Gaspar Roca. Mm -hmm. I am Ginny D, and I played Professor Althea Runespinner. And I am Jordan Scott, and I played Sir Robin, but I'm going to change his second name to Enrichman. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, I have been your dungeon master, Anjali Bimani. It's been such a pleasure. Just a reminder, once again, we are here in this extraordinary location. We are here in Billund, Denmark, the home of the Lego group. And in fact, we are in the home of the Lego brick itself, Ooh. Lego house. So everything surrounding us is just a delicious piece of history. We are so grateful to have been here. Thank you so much to all of the folks that have uh, made this possible. Lego house, the Lego group, Wizards of the Coast, D&D. &D. To find out more about the Lego ideas, Dungeons and Dragons, Red Dragon's Tale set, the free gift of your little mimic dice, uh, the adventure book, and the soundscape, for those of you listening Listening at home, you may have heard sound effects going on while we were playing. These have been specially created for this tale, for this adventure, and you can use them now too. I think it's kind of fun to show you like the actual adventure book 
because you can oh, get yeah. a physical one. Ooh. So we have it in this beautiful envelope. Um, our wonderful colleagues at AV uh, illustrated everything. Oh, amazing. Wow. A nice Ooh. envelope, hot wings. Hot, hot, wings. Yeah, hot wings. Clearly Even hot. more hungry. And Ooh, look at that. So this beautiful illustrated oh cover oh, of so a red good. dragon's tail. I love it wow. so much. And everything inside that you need yeah, to like play I told through you, it's just gorgeous. the adventure. Oh, that's awesome. And all the creatures and in what, there. Wow. I was especially like blown away by was the wizard team creating rules for if you don't know how to play Dungeons and Dragons. Right. Mm. So you could play this with like younger play, uh, people, like members of your family, friends, and you don't need to know every in and out of the player's That's handbook awesome. or the DMG. You can just flip a coin to see if you succeed or fail. Like it could be as simple as that. Wow. So it can be a truly interactive story. Um, and then you have your character sheets as well. And then a little notes pages if you want to take notes. So um, it's awesome. And then I guess since I'm showing stuff, since you haven't maybe seen. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna block Whoa. myself. Wow. Oh, oh wow. The final box. Oh, it looks um, great. And we were very conscious to not spoil anything. So yes, Irvine is only shown with his back to you. Amazing. But uh, yeah, down, uh, where is it? Down on the side. Mary is just greeting people. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So if you're if you've got a keen eye, you might find out. But this is the box in wow. its um, and it all does its have glory. My favorite of all of the little beast creations, which is that adorable owl bear. Yes. <laughs> I oh, cannot so with the owl bear. Yeah. And to find out more about all of these wonderful things, you can go to Lego.com DND to pop in. You can also pop into your local Lego store to pick up this beautiful Lego Ideas Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragons Tale set and. And you can go to D&D &D Beyond to get your hands on the digital adventure book. It's adorable. You guys have to check it out. It's very, very cool. You can get the character sheets there. You can get digital dice. You can get more. Thank you so much for joining us for this adventure. We will see you next time. Thank you.